tonight's podcast as always sponsored by denny's um get down there tell them the ambitious critical podcast has sent you try their new ferrero roche pancakes and obviously they bang out the kinder bueno waffles as well you know the drill we've been down with them since even before they opened there best milkshakes in the town we're proud that they're part of us and uh we're supporting them and they're supporting us if you get a takeaway from there, if you go down and sit in, tell them the Ambition is Critical podcast has sent you and uh, that'll let them know that we are doing something for them. You can hit them up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. There's even a, a video of me and Paddy doing the eating challenge on Facebook if no one ever saw that. Pfft, one of the best and worst days of my life. I felt horrendous by the end of it, but the food was amazing. Get on there, give them a like, give them a follow, all that nonsense. Tell them we sent you. Shows we do an out bit. Obviously, along with us as well. The Secret, Swansea's uh, most picturesque bar and restaurant. There at the minute, obviously it's a strange time. They're taking bookings in the evenings, uh, but in the days you can turn up there. It's a wild world we live in currently. Get down to Secret though while you still can and get yourself a pint. Um, for the Optimist Bar in Uplands, they're only open on the weekends at the moment. It's a tough old time for these bars and restaurants, but we've got to try and support local. So... Get down there, tell them we sent you, follow them on social media, let's all stick together through this. And while we're talking about local bars, restaurants, Swansea's number one music venue, The Bunkhouse. Still Swansea's number one music venue, even though we can't have any live music. The boys have overcome, they've adapted, they now become Swansea's number one burger bar. You can get on at The Bunkhouse Bar, Swansea.com, order your food, um, the best burgers about get yourself down have some beers they got indoor and outdoor seat then currently while you still can fucking hell you better get in there now because who knows what's happening next but just make sure to tell the bunkers that we sent you and obviously last but not least Swan, uh, South Wales and South West number one heating and plumbing firm that is JMW Heating you can hit them up 0330 or in, uh, email info at jmwheatin.co.uk. They do domestic and commercial. They cover all your maintenance needs. Hey, if you're an AAC podcast listener, they'll give you a discount. Swansea City season ticket holder, they'll give you a discount. If you're an NHS or military veteran, hey, Chili's always looking to give somebody a discount. So just let them know that we sent you. And that is the, the advertising for now. This is episode one, two, three of the Ambition is Critical podcast with a man we have worked incredibly hard on to get here. It's been three years in the making this and I'm so happy to say that we've got one of, a, a person who's synonymous with Swansea City. You think Swansea City, you think of this man. He's now, um, he's gone as from a player to a coach to now Swans TV's number one pundit and um, I'm happy to have him on. Um, suppose, well, I know he's a really nice guy and uh, supposed to be a real, real top boy. I think this could go long and this could be fun. This is episode 123 of the Ambition is Critical podcast with Swansea City legend, Christian O'Leary. Ambition is critical. So Pat, this is what happened, right? What? So Sunday, I speak to Chris. To organise tonight, yeah, right. And obviously, we we spoke a few times now over the years, yeah, yeah. we, right? Yeah. Since uh, I first got Chris's number, and sent him a message. Um, I think it was Lee. When did Lee David give it? Give me a number. Yeah, I probably. Yeah. And um, so, randomly, I had to end up on the road on Monday. Right. And I'm up in. I'm not going to give away yeah. the address, Chris. Right. Yeah. yeah. You and know, I, the postcode like. And I'm up in Carmarthen, and. Uh, I just pulled up outside this house and obviously we've got to tap the name into the PDA. Right, so I'm uh, going, O'Leary, like this, not thinking nothing of it, obviously. I you thought it might be doing that. <laughs> 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 yeah, I knock a door and no answers the door. No way. <laughs> yeah. he, must, he must have thought I can't get rid of this cat. Chase number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, fucking hell, because it's mad that you just like, obviously we've spoken a number of times. Wish me at for happy 40th, 40th birthday. Yeah. 
Give me yeah, back. Trying to get the third yell then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a back and a compliment about my kick ups, getting better than a kick ups. Yeah, yeah, take the actual piss. Yeah. That's why I thought I fucked this up because uh, when he done the keep ups, I went, oh, fuck, come on, come on, it's Christian Alidi. Oh, no, like when uh, no one like uh, <laughs> Cardigan said, no one grows up dreaming of wanting to be Gary Neville. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought I fucked this up, but yeah, you know what I mean? No. And then all of a sudden, like, you bang the door, Chris stand there, like, Fuck, all right, mate. So he's like, all right, all right. I was like, yeah. well, this is strange. He's only on the phone to each other yesterday and doing a podcast Wednesday. And that's sometimes just, just a strange meeting. I yeah, wasn't exactly. supposed to be on the road. Mate, how fucking long have we been trying to get this know, crazy. to happen, isn't it? This is fucking the equivalent. The pressure's on you. No, no, mate, no. fuck, there's no pressure at all. It was harder to get involved than fucking Bin Laden in about 2002, <laughs> did he? We thought Olini was hiding in the mountains yeah. in Bora Bora. He's <laughs> <laughs> in the caves and come out. Yeah. No, yeah. look, you know, we, we've said over the... T- obviously, when I fought, first spoke to you going back, you know, near enough three years ago now... We were a lot smaller then. You weren't to know what much what we no, were about. Yeah, yeah. David, David told you, and obviously you had things going on then. You know, irons in a fire and stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and you weren't sure about coming on, and that was fair enough. And then obviously, sometimes you don't want to nag, but at the same time, you still want to show your keen. Yeah, so yeah, send yeah, you the yeah, odd yeah, message yeah. saying, "Chris, yeah. we're still thinking about you." You know. I think it was more more my side of it where, you know, when when things are going on, you don't want to sort of. And it, it, well, we can speak about it. I spoke to you on the phone about it. Where there's things were a little bit raw, you know, with our left Swansea at the the second time, so it was a little bit where I don't read. I was a bit conscious of what I would, what we could talk about, what I did wanted to talk about, or what. So, you know, when, when things conspired and they ended up, in, you know, it's, here we are three years. And later. I think yeah, as well, yeah. mate, it's not many who not the type of person they might fall at. Who seeks attention? No, I was fine. Not that we, we've only met briefly no, no, a couple I of was, times. I was thinking this earlier on, and, and it's probably cost me in my, you know, in my career. Not so much the playing, but certainly yeah. after the playing. And it's something which, if I got my time again with the coaching, I'd make a lot more. But like, I don't yeah. like it. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's not. It's not. I, you know, look, certain things have have gone on in in, in my life as well, and now I I handled things and this that and the other, but. I don't like that side of it. I'm not, yeah, yeah. Not, I don't appreciate it. And everybody loves a little, you know, tap on the back or I don't know it's just where it's one. And I love nothing more than sitting somewhere in a pub and just talking football and yeah. truly swans. But, you know, you do miss it after. And then you think, oh, you know what? So maybe a bit more of that. Yeah. You know? yeah. I think it was sort of, not, I don't think bang again. My own, myself, I've sort of stopped Sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You no, know, appreciate what I did and all the things. I can imagine the games yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, my, yeah, and my club, and I, I don't sort of re- recognize, give myself the recognition. Yeah, I mean, take time. You may, yeah, yeah. may take a little bit more time. You look yeah. back and go, fuck, I did it right. I did. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> the thing, and you know, now I'm sort of starting to think, oh, I know, and then. But then you look back and yeah, you've got regrets and you think, well, maybe I should have made it. Yeah. Enjoyed it a bit more then. Mm, Take it yeah, on, appreciated yeah. it a bit more. It was um, I was talking to Giggsy today in work, and uh, I think you know Giggsy, Steve yeah, Thomas, yeah. of course we know Paul, yeah. like Mason, I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Elder player. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've seen Mason play. Suppose you know, I am seen him play a great deal, but great. But I think he got let go August. Right. And this is going back to South now about what he'd done in it. How good have you got to be? To fucking make it as a professional footballer, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Because yes. this kid now played yeah. for Wales, same as Scott Coughlin in a way. Mm-hmm. Scott Coughlin was like keeper for Wales, Wales in the big teams, teams, and I was looking at him thinking he's going to be a professional footballer because out of the country, it's England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, he's one of the four best mm-hmm. keepers in the country. Like, so mm-hmm. he's got to make, he's yeah. got to make it. It's but um, it's fucking hard. So when I'm saying played, all you did for the first fucking. Like it were thirty years or thirty odd years of life. It's been yeah. Well, it's lived that fucking yeah, dream. What we did, obviously, I always say, is two things in, in my life. It was school, St Joseph's School, Port Talbot, and then straight to the vet. And I was oh, it. Nothing. Yeah. Did you have a club side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I mean, day to day. So like school right, right. Up until left school, bang in the in the vet. But um, yeah, I played. I started because I mean, you know, I don't know if it's different in Swansea. I can't see it. There was nothing under under ten. It was just under ten, so obviously that like you were playing and, and knocking about. And my mates were a year above me in school, so um, 
I'd sign for their side, St. Joseph's, but I never played because they had a really good side, you know, going back and mm. took out St. School reforms. There's a couple of boys who were, who were at uh, trials here then, everyone went signed for Liverpool school boys and they sat there. So this won't be so, Liverpool, so what, St. Joseph's school, this is St. Joseph's club. Yeah, there, there was a, there was yeah. a, it wasn't attached to the school itself, yeah, but yeah, it was, yeah, it's right, not, yeah, no, yeah. it didn't fall in, no, years and years ago. Um, but one day, <laughs> I don't think I was signed at the time, but they were short. And I played, and they were like, where's he been from? He's been training the last week, yeah. you know, they didn't yeah. know. But, but by that time, I'd moved to a club called New, New, Newton Wonders, which had been going out 50 odd years, and they were like the whipping boys. Yeah, yeah. But I loved it, and I was there for two years, and then Lido were the top team of that age group, and you know, as, he, as he do, they sort of yeah. said, oh, look, would you come and sign this? And you, you had, it was almost like, I was, without blowing smoke up Lido's ass but that team at the time and Lido and Portal was the club to go to yeah of course and it was like almost a step yeah, yeah. towards going to a pro yeah, yeah. And so we did that and that was a great thing but then you know it was Swansea but to get to go back to the question you said to get to where it is the hardest part of it is the discipline and the, and the, the mental side of it mm. now you see young team players with ridiculous abilities and you know the stories and yeah, this yeah. while I was on about it you know, last year and about uh, yeah, yeah, Jamie yeah. Vardy Oh, you could have done this, you've done that, you? but it's consistent. You have to do it day in, day out, day in, day out. You you get kicked, you know, and I don't mean physically kicked, but mentally and and you know you can go home after the thing. And I was always really very critical of myself, as in the training. And Roberto was quite similar. Then. Roberto used to pout for days, like, mm-hmm. and I mean pout for days, and you take the piss over him. And I was in then, but I was I just wanted to win. Um, I, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit of that. But me signing for Swansea was, it was, oh, I don't know your year, but it was August school holiday, so I was out with my mates and we'd go, you know, like everybody else, out for day down the beach and all that down there, Bravo. And I come up, whatever time, my father, the phone had gone early on the evening, he said, Are oh, you going to Swansea tomorrow? I said, well, What do you mean? So you're going to try out Swansea? I said, oh, Dad, to be honest with you, look, I'm uh, going down the Yeah, down with the boys. I said, I'm fucking remorse. I'm fucking hell, you know. But anyway, I went and I was it fell in love with the straight away. Now I had offers from other teams, but that was my you know that that was my sort of goal. Physically I was I was strong. I was a year I made my school year by a day. So right. the 30th of August, like so awesome. the youngest. Yeah. Yeah. So youngest, I was the youngest, youngest. Right, 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 right. But uh, physically I was I was yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah. Which in which funny enough, when you were a kid in school that fucking year, yeah, could be like that. Thing. Someone a year above you, fuck me. Well, mm. What I what I managed to do then is I I ended up playing. Once I'd signed the Swans, I was pretty much we took go in and train at that age with the youth team, and they were fucking dudes. Like, you know, yeah. you know the boys. Yeah. 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 So I'm looking at you from the way with Rickard, yeah, with it. Well, 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 three years well, 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 again. Steve Williams, LC, great crackers. All these were, and they were tough boys. Like you know, yeah. At the end, it was. There was no Lee Mann would have been there. Yeah. Lee was a bit older, yeah. That that is, but what I can remember playing with, um, that the coach's age, that sort of age, playing against them with them, Dybanos, wow, all, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. all those boys. So, it was like a battle of fire because well, my father could only get to, so I had to get a bus or a thing for the vets yeah. and jump on the minibus then at the fair with pre season, <laughs> and that that was a. The toughest thirty minutes drive ever because really? you just get battered. Like, <laughs> it's not, you know, you, 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 you just smack across your head and off because Talk you wouldn't go at the back because they were all at the yeah, second years yeah, yeah. at the back and and you, so you had the second years first years and like I was a kid at the front like yeah. you know but it was a great ground in yeah but I always played and I, I believe it's now with with the academy and it, it's one of the things the gripes I got at Swansea over the last few years not so much now because they they have to do it again now. Is I was pushed up and played two years above me. So I had a day off school to play reserve team football at Birmingham. Yeah. Now, that for me was a hell of an experience. Some yeah. of these boys are 23, play 22, still playing in the 23s. It's wasted. You've got to push them. You're yeah. not, I believe this. I listened to this this morning. Um, I know that damn millionaire. Um, I think he's man. He owns Romford, I think. Uh, right. Glenn Macklin, is it? Oh, it's not Romford. It's um, uh, oh, Chig Wells. Uh, they're an Essex right. team. He's, an, oh, he's, an, um, he's a millionaire. He's from Essex. And, uh, Glenn Tamlin. Glenn Tamlin. Like, like, not Bill Rick, is it? Bill Rick, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was, um, he was with West Ham for a bit. And he said, there's a lot of pushy parents out there 
that are sort of living vicariously through their kids. And he said, unless your kid is playing two years above himself, he ain't gonna fucking make it. Because he said, half the kids there, if you've got like an under 19s, under 18s, under 21s, you've got to have 11 players. Yeah. So if your boy is left back for the under 19s, He's got to be there because you've got to have 11 players every week. He yeah. said, but the chances of him fucking getting taken on yeah. if he ain't playing two years above himself is fucking slim to my yeah. like, yeah. Which again, he goes yeah. back to how tough it is yeah, it to going, become a fucking professional footballer. It, it, it was, and it is. I know, mentally, it's, mentally's the hardest bit. And that, you do suffer. And I mean, people talk about things like, uh, I don't know if you watch that Spurs documentary, but oh, yeah. there, was, oh, yeah. there was only... Um, as Aldevelda was saying about Christmas time, he says, you know, sometimes I just want to spend some time with my family. Spot on. Now, 2016, after I left Swansea, it was the first time we'd actually had, as a family, two weeks away. Right. So... Oh, as a summer as, holiday? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. my, my wife worked in a, in a school, so the only break we'd have was the half term in May. So right. for all the kids, like, like it was one week. Nice. I know it doesn't in, no, 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 no. in that yeah, position yeah. Where, it's still family yeah. yeah, it's still yeah, you're a pro yeah, yeah, like you're in Dubai yeah, 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 yeah. and that's the different this scale now all we thought about like I know, know talking about boxing I just put, it's life at the other end the bottom yeah. end yeah. and it, it, it's tough for me I know all the things I don't want you got on, on there to ask but you know we go back to the petty things and all that they, they were brutal at the times you know mm. you know, really really tough on physically and mentally but playing football I, I, the, the old one, I used to, people say, oh, no, go I, And I'd love, I'd watch all my mates play. Any Saturday we'd have off a midweek game, I'd go down and watch Port Arbor, Lido, Travail, and all, all the local mm-hmm. sites. Because, you know, they made me. So I've been to the area that Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, know. I've yeah. never been to Travail. Yeah. Well, I, but it sounds like I could tell this week yeah. when I was on my way up the command. Like, yeah. I'd never driven, yeah. never been no, past it. Yeah, yeah, and I drove past it a few times this but week. Yeah. The, so I knew that sort of going out, and people, oh, he could make it, he could make it, he could make it. And I'm like, no, he couldn't. Because you can't have. Where people have like say two decent games in ten, you couldn't afford two bad training sessions oh, in a course. week. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. And and little things like sacrifice, I was thinking, oh, is but go back to my kids. You know, my 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 wife, my first my daughter, my wife's walk was broken on a Tuesday morning, we were exiting away on a Tuesday night. Like, well, Walking like all that, you know. Yeah. But football's <laughs> become more who who made yeah, 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 yeah. you know, they think of the individual more. I was like, I gotta go. So, yeah. well, my daughter wasn't born till the, the Thursday. We played on a Friday, I think, that week as well. But even when my boy was born, we had Preston and Cup on the yeah. Saturday. So, there was a res- reserve game in the night. He was born in the afternoon. I was like, right, I've got to go now, I've got to get treatment. Yeah. I said, no, I've got, I, I got to play Saturday. Yeah, Because you know? yeah. financially, I, and just get you in the team you want to play in. It. Yeah, well, yeah, you, you, can't well miss, yeah. you can't risk missing a game just in case yeah, someone yeah. comes in Some and plays really well, well. And, and then you fucking out. And it looks like, um, like they had. On talk sport, they murdered the cricketers when something happened. One of the cricketers, I can't remember which one it was, and he pulled out of a tour and they, they called him weak and all that. Oh, yeah, I mean, and it's yeah, the same yeah. thing with you, isn't it? It's like, to me, my family's every fucking yeah. thing, you know, and there's no doubt that it's true. But as you said, you don't want to miss a game because one, as you said, there's obviously money side to as well, but two, if someone comes in and fucking has a great game, you yeah. fucking and you right back down the pet and, and you fight hard to get your position, yeah, yeah, that's the thing, mm. you've got to fight hard. And nothing was one thing I would say to him, nothing's ever given. Nothing's mm-hmm. ever been given. Even even to the, the coaching and I know and by not putting myself about and it was funny because you know I've been doing a commentary for the Swans and people are oh he talks well, you know yeah. what doing. Mm-hmm. Do you know and, one of the one of the ones was being praised the most yeah. as mm-hmm. in and it, it not like social media wise, you're not pushing himself out there. But when you actually look at the times you have been on a comment, you must have seen the comments, because we all looked at the fucking yeah. comments. And they all say he's one of the best yeah. commentators we've got. Like you know, but it's funny because people then think, "Oh, he knows what he's talking about." As if you know, as if you won't much like. You know what I mean? Do you like, play a bit, like, but it's yeah. it's not really. But I went because soon as I, I when I finished playing, I knew I had enough. I couldn't. I didn't want to play anymore. I mm. didn't want to. But I wanted a coach, and I believe I can do far better coaching. I could have played. Yeah, right. so, yeah. So I know that's why I was ready to go. And now that's the frustration of not being able to. Do, no, having that opportunity again. Now, I got a, a pro license, which is the highest you can get. Yeah, yeah. Now, that wasn't given to me. You know, I, yeah, I went yeah, out and yeah, got yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I went to to get it. I wasn't thrown in as a manager of a first team in the Premier League mm. or a league club. But, you know, I had to get there. My my playing background compared to some of the people on there was nothing. Yeah. You know? 
So, it, it, you know, it, it, I fought for everything that I had, you know, I mm. worked all the appearances I had or whatever, nothing was given. Yeah, know, yeah. I was always fighting. And I always believed that. I remember someone saying to me earlier on, said, uh, you, you're not a first team regular until you've played at least 100 games. Even after 100 games, I never see myself as that. I really? always thought, no, I've got to push, I've got to push. Yeah. I've got to push. But it was like you say, you know, it's um, the time you've come in in your career into the Swans was in 94? Yeah, 94, I signed his apprentice here. Yeah. Right. So you come in a real strange time there in a the club, like, in it? You know what I mean? It's uh, financially doldrums, it's like a Division 4 club. Um, it's a tough place to be in it, you know, the the swans yeah. at that time, the vets probably not full majority of the time. Mm. So, but you've come through there and gone from that tough time and seen the progression of the club yeah. throughout your life, throughout your career. Yeah. And so, being you know, part of it. And being yeah, part yeah, yeah. of it, like, you know I mean, what it I mean? Was, it was a strange time because they just done, I remember mean, going up the summer, the April before, I went to the tits and the independent oh, yeah, 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 yeah. to Wembley. For the things we've got on the bus, yeah, yeah. Like to support that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we, yeah. so we went on the bus with it, <laughs> and then that summer, then we took. So we had that sort of success. Then that year was okay. They sold a few players. Frank Boyle was in charge. And then the year after, then he went drastic. Mm. When he left, and Kevin Callis came in, and all that sort of stuff. And then Jan took over. We went down, and then mm. we, we so started going back. You made you made a debut in ninety five, ninety six. Yes. Yeah. So that so that was who so was that Jan, manager? But Jan had just taken over from. Kevin Callis, all from Kevin Callis, yeah. but you were there. You would have been there, obviously, as a YTS. Yeah, I was still a YTS. You were still a YTS yeah. when Kevin Callis came in on that. Yeah. So what can you remember much about that? Yeah. Time? I remember we walked <laughs> in the back because it's always the same. Isn't it? I know you haven't got the social media now, but you'd have you be on a phone, you know, club call. Yeah, the that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's, what's going on? Yeah. That type of thing. My old girl went mental. Yeah. Once. Her phone never pulls one. She said, "What's this fucking twenty-three quid?" I said, "That my wife didn't have a fucking clue. They thought I was falling fucking Paul Knight." <laughs> I said, "Oh no, I haven't been falling that." My Cooper's injured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm so <laughs> Michael, but I had phone up and I go, shut the fucking bottle cherry in you, you stupid <laughs> fat cunt. It cost us 18 quid. <laughs> Michael was injured. But well, that's what we do. We had phone up, phone up and see what the news was. But we, there was always links. It was always Ian Rush, Dean Saunders, this, that, yeah. The mm. players have sort of just come into the, you know, the, the latter years of their career, player manager. And, and I think they always went that way back because of what happened with Tosh. But I can remember walking in you know, and John Cornforth walked out and Corny was brilliant. He, he was brilliant with the younger players. And a real personality, and he came out. So a new manager's in. Like, what? He said, "Yeah, new manager, Cradley Town's youth team manager." Glen Tamley walks in. He's going. No, he is. He's in. That's our boss. So we walk in, and we're all laughing. I'm all still in pants and being the way dressed. And it was like he was. <laughs> <laughs> he had the straw, but the store like all the. <laughs> um, he's coming in, and he was just. In a strong brummy accent, and then everybody's looking on. Oh, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, like, you know, and it's so generally look at someone like that and think, Fuck me, you generally haven't a clue. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it was little things like you know, I remember the Di- Dibano's coming in after the game on the Saturday. The Saturday, I think we were swinging home and swinging on the flying at the time, and Steve McMahon was manager, yes, right, yeah, and yeah, Jan, yeah, yeah, Jan yeah. was in the, in the director's box. So at, the, at that time, it was the first year that stretches. So injured players, you'd have yeah, to see. yeah, yeah. That would be the apprentices, right? So four, four of us would sat and sit on the bench. Well, that one, we off. Oh, honest, the club was in it like two. Right. So a couple of boys went over the corner and gave for the pint before the game. Like, the right. Oh, right. right. So we're coming back now. So normally you're so strict. There's only three, or four of you on the bench. Yeah. There was about four, five, or, or five or six of us on the bench. Like just sat. We'd have the suits on, sat to the side of the bench with the with the stretches. Like and it was going on. But after the game, I think it was Dibano said. Uh, because they had a game on a Tuesday, so he only lasted a couple of weeks today, and then the Tuesday was black full away. Gaffer, what are we doing tomorrow? And he's like, mm, so, like, like, basically, why are you like, what do you, he's like, oh, the reserves, what do you normally do? I have a day off, he's like, have a day off. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, and it's like, you know, we, we, you know, we're in the, like, a book room, because we're on duty looking, or what, just yeah, yeah. what he's got to say, and it, but it was just farcical, like, it was just a joke. Because didn't, like, Dave Penny and someone else kick up the team? Yeah, right? apparently, at, at the, um, the Blackpool game then half time Dave Penny spoke and gave it you know basically told him to shut up and then the room was uh, Doug Sharp told him to get off a bus get off my bus and I was there yeah. as you know. yeah because didn't Doug Sharp like uh, well he was selling to a bloke called Thompson I think right. yeah, and he put and something in the contract and then, yeah, yeah, and and he, he had to pay back. so much to get the box and before he went through he pulled it, pulled it uh, off and then Jan took over a few weeks later 
But I, I would fucking manage it to go from some nobody to to Yamo. Like at the time, yeah. Yamo, we managed us, I remember, being absolutely fucking massive, <laughs> wasn't it? No, he's, uh, he's, and again, then, then you see the next level, you know, the top level of player. You know, there's a top, top level, yeah. which you just, you know, you know very few ever yeah. get there. Then there's like the, the top level, then there's a couple of, like a, I call them like the, the joking ones who want to be, and there's loads of them in the Premier League where, they think they they do, but they'd actually yeah, 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 yeah. but Jan was in that sort of practice. Of course he was. Not like like loud ups up there. Of the course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you got like the Jan who got the, <laughs> yeah. the medals and the, the international appearances to do it. That was unbelievable. But if I go back and we, we did nothing. We we trained like little circle and then um five sides and things. We had no equipment. We have all we trained with the stadium is now the old Mova. Really? We had nothing, yeah. Five yeah. sides and that's what he was built you know, built on and I think again, oh, I, I was talking to someone uh, the other day, it's just going from Australia and coaches out there. And they were saying that uh, I think Robbie Fowler's been out in Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And he was saying that uh, I'll basically come in and just play five or sides. Yeah. yeah. Which, what you did years ago, like, you know, I'd look back and I think, I can't remember being coached. Yeah. You know, with all the badges and that. Now, yeah, yeah. Everything's gone from the basics. The basics are always there. Yeah. So, you don't hear people in the in the tunnel with first ball, second ball, get there. Mm. The best teams do that. Mm. You know, we yeah. use the first thing, make sure the good first one's a good one. Get, get, if I don't win it, get the second yeah, ball. Yeah. So you defend and between second ball, second you ball. You've got to win the battle yeah. before yeah. we start playing. So. But if you go back to like when this is when it, it can be that bad because English teams are ruling Europe. Like when they go back to Liverpool with the book yeah. and all that, they always say, uh, well, what, what did like Ronnie Moran and fucking and all that do? It? And they'd be like, yeah, well, we go in. You'd have five aside, it'd be competitive as fuck, and then come to Saturday, and Bob Paisley would say, Go out and enjoy it. We were better than them. Every season, they'd win the league, we'd make two sign ins just to improve the side, similar to what Liverpool are doing now. I like example when, when Liverpool sold Rush, they bought Beardsley, Barnes, and John Aldridge to mm-hmm. fucking replace Rush. There's three players there for one, you know what I mean? Same as, um, they said the same about Clough. Um, one, one game, they got to the ground late. Clough had him training in a roundabout. No, like just doing fucking keep ups. And, and he said, No, good enough. This is why I bought you. You're good enough to win the fucking games. You know, I'm going to be coached to the fucking nth degree. Like, you yeah. know, you, you can fucking manage it. As you said, yeah, sometimes a simple game simple, was being, simple, you know, keep it simple. Yeah, because I bet you've seen the growth of the academies and all that, you know. And, yeah. You know, it's, as we said, I think kids taking it four, five, six, and I just think, it's a child of gone. It's, I, I don't yeah. agree with it. I, there's, there's got to be happy medium. At the minute, it's way too far. You maybe not leave it go right away when you can't do anything with yeah. it. But they go off. And I, I see, like, oh, my boy left at 12. My um, my nephew left at 15, I think he was. But is it all child of gone? Like, you know, yeah. Can't go to your mates. I can't stay overnight. I had that. People say to me, when you know, what, what games do you enjoy? And... Uh, there's loads of games who say the best, but I always say the last game we played for Avon Lido and the 14s cup final. I left my house because I lived down by the beach, walked down there with a kick bag, you know, won 4 0, won the cup, it was the second cup of the season we won, scored two. Still and remember that, like, still yeah, remember yeah, because yeah. after that, then then you set into the end of 15s of school boys and everything was pressure. So yeah, I signed yeah, the yeah. Swansea in. Then I was we, we weren't allowed to play, we play Avon eight games, then West Glamorgan and South Wales, and then into Wales. And that was it. So you couldn't play with the mates. Mm. And that was pressure. That was a 14 and 15. So these kids are having that at 8, 9, 10. Yeah. And, like, and, and then the parents again, you go, oh, yeah. you say you're two, you're con- Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then, as you said, you go, you're going from, if you remember in that game now, fucking 30 years ago, you've gone, now it goes from enjoyment to, as, to like you said, pressure. Like, mm. Because you've got to worry about who fucking plays. Then, then, yeah. about just enjoy, just yeah. being a yeah. devil's advocate in, in that conversation, oh, I completely understand what you're saying, I agree. But you were talking about just now about what makes a pro. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Okay? You have to have the ability to play in those high pressure situations to become yeah. a professional mm. player. So even though, yeah, it does take some kids' childhoods, and the large majority, it does take the childhood away. But for those guys who make it, that's what builds them. That's what builds mm. their character is those high pressure. Yeah, yeah. and it would be I mean? interesting to see what they like at the back end of it as, mm. a, as a person. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. I mean, some don't I mean, you get the odd one, don't get me wrong. But a lot of them I've seen boys leave, you know, 
Well, like, uh, Giggs's boy, no? Yeah, How yeah. long has he been down there? And he's yeah, like, oh, I, I saw, I saw Giggs's boy play for... He's 19 now. 19 now. He played... We went, me and my boy went to watch the under-18s and Giggs's boy was 15. Mm. And Liam Callum played up mm. front for him, but Liam Callum was only 16. Mm. So he was playing for the 18s. Giggsy's boy, come on, sub, I think he did, because I spoke to Giggsy and his missus down there. No, he played, he started and he came off as was. He was 15, Liam Cullen was 16, the rest of the boys were 18. I'm trying to think if there's any of those boys left now. Mm. The centre midfielder, Pope, mm, Tom sure. Pope, something like that, his name uh. was, I think. I don't know. Mm. I was not to have it. For one thing, God, he's a cracking kid and he got a good family around him. Yeah. Like, like Giggsy said this morning, he said, we had visions of him being fucking, you know, in tears. Do you know what? He got a tidy enough head in his shoulder yeah. that he just he's like, lost, lost he's, he's got his head set now on get a trade. Yeah. Maybe have he's a game happy where, he, like, uh, go Welsh League something, you know. I mean, still, I go back to like our, it was six of us as, for, as our age group. Now, we still close, but, and they've all gone off and done their own, their own thing. Who would they be at? Johnny Gray. Of course. Class Jay Gray. Oh, no offence, mate. Yeah. Flat, amazing, yeah. fucking, yeah. yeah. Gunner. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. But again, great, yeah, yeah. yeah. great, 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 great fucking boy. Um, Onky. Yeah, yes, I played with Onky. Scored one of the greatest goals um, I've ever seen against, uh, when we played against him at Bishop Moore, he let me talk on about fucking seven players. It was like Maradona's goal against Belgium <laughs> in the seven final. <laughs> right. We couldn't get close to the cut. On- Onky's a good example of that because he left with pretty much nothing from school. Mm. Then... They did, and what we had in the youth team, we, we had discipline, like kind of prop fucking discipline. Yeah. But then he went and he did all his GCSEs again, A levels, and now he's teaching in yeah. Liverpool way. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen Ongi uh, for 20 years. So, uh, and then you had a well, boy, Damien Lacey, who played yeah. for the oh, first team. Oh, yeah, yeah. played for the first team, yeah. So, Lee Jones. Jonah, 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 yeah, Jonah, yeah, yeah. Got best option in which way? She's doing it. He's right. right. Jonah's done it, right. yeah. No, you got the best teeth as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fucking tell him I said, I said, yeah, didn't you guys have this year? No. So, they, you know, they, they all had... Oh, good boys, though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Greg, oh, you know, in all fairness, you know, Greg was a fucking postman with me, like, you know, to see where Greg was now, is absolutely fucking amazing. Like in all fairness, he's done fucking. And one of the best boys of all. Yeah, great boy, great boy. And Gunner as well. Fucking yeah. hell. Granted, every time he sees him, he's in a fucking gig in London. No one's told him about <laughs> coronavirus. Oh, yeah. He's in fucking gigs now. Fuck, he was in gig two weeks ago. What the oh, fuck he's yeah. doing? I don't know. Well, he, had a, he was phoning me doing it, you know, uh, <laughs> FaceTiming and that. Like, and he's in his mate's house up in London. His mate was in fucking. He's in New York and Gunner's in there. Fucking bit. It's out sitting is because he had a leak in yeah. his lap. He's having full, so him and his mate, his other boys all around there, full like fucking party, you know. Yeah. In his, in his mate's kitchen. Like, oh, yeah, Gunner's in like, no, like Vogue, we'll have a party and fine, yeah, be fair. fair. Fucking Gunner's in there. Just talk to like. I reckon Gunner's in there serving wine, no, like Manuel from yeah. fucking Lab, uh, from fucking Tower. <laughs> He's just taking us photos, he got photos, arm in arm with fucking Madonna and Guy Ritchie, the cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> when I did my uh, testimonial brochure, I let his name out the bag and he went up, he texted me, he said, I feel like uh, Clark Kent now, and he told him I got him some. But even like you were saying about the old, like, fucking hell. No one would look at all the mob who was fucking, who was down in Swans with his YTS, like, it's a hell of a lot of characters. Don't get me wrong, they're good yeah. footballers, but they're more fucking nutters than footballers. Yeah. Yeah. And they, when you look at them all, all the fucking I'll wild balls and fucking guards in the Royal Mail. That's the best oh, part yeah. of it. Yeah. I played in the Royal Mail team with half the old fucking Swans. Yeah. Frenchy. Frenchy and all that. Yeah. I uh, I thought oh, I'll have a game for the fucking Royal Mail. No, no, I went. I was in the first team. It was only allowed in the first team. We've had fucking four hundred league <laughs> leaders. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in. I'm coming in my thirteen player year. Fucking showing that I'm fucking uh, Alan Davis. Yeah. He's fucking raw, man. Oh, no, That's what yeah. yeah. <laughs> really yeah. Stand up was amazing. We were all over the place. Fucking yeah. 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 brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Fucking yeah. playing yeah. all those boys. But you know, like um, you talking about the youth now. We talking about them boys. Obviously, it's a different game now. When you were going through the youth system and the whiteies, it was proper hardcore. You were probably sweeping the terraces, oh, cleaning yeah. the boots, and yeah. doing all that shit. Whose boots did you clean, by the way? Oh, um, I got well, the second years. I always had a pick, see, so they knew obviously as it goes. So Who's the pick? Who's the pick? Yeah, on Christmas. So the first years always left for the young pros, and you right. you might fall lucky with a new new player. 
So when I was a first year, I got stitched stitch up. I had Die Tom, uh, a couple of the first year pros. Die Tom's lending money up if you want yeah, to play there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what he's trying to And then the, the year after, I had Colin Pasco, uh, nice. Mike Basham. Yeah, yeah Basham, so I like actually, Basham. I had Basham the first year, so I kept him. He was all like Bashers. Um, I can't remember. There were two. I think I might have just had those two. Colin Pasco, hell of a player. Good player. What I can mm, remember really player. Yeah, as a kid. Before, that, was, I think, was that before or after he went to Sunderland? Well, I think he was with he us. He came on loan, didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. And then he signed back with us. So the year we lost in the playoffs to West Brom. So right. It would be 93, I think. That's when he came back. He was on loan then. So I remember in 19, I remember in round one, 1985. Uh, the first game was Northampton. We won 2-1. We won Gary Emanuel scored. And a boy called Paul McCarthy, who ended up going to play him up. You're not thinking of Sean, Sean McCarthy. Sean McCarthy, McCarthy sorry. Sean Out and out goal scorer. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, popular, yeah, yeah. you know. And he did amazing for yeah. Sean McCarthy. Yeah. Yeah. Good goal scorer. We got promoted to the playoffs. It was my, it was, I think it was 87. It was my first ever game. It was 86, 87. My old man took me and Sean McCarthy scored. And we went up. They had a two-legged playoff final then, in them days. Mm-hmm. And I think I went to the semi-final, which was the Rotherham game. And then they, it was like Toki or Exeter, one of them. Yeah. Like the two-legged final I went through and that. Yeah. Sean McCarthy scored. Good, a, good, good goal yeah. scorer. Like Pasco, hell of a player. Yeah. And Tommy Axel. That was a good side, yeah. that 93 when it lost to uh, West Brom. Yeah. Right. They had a oh, good league on West Brom. Lincoln were in with Dees and Adrian Bolton were in there. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that game, well, we've talked about it on here a bit. That game was about... I Hull was a better atmosphere. Well, no, it's hard to say. I was a kid, like in that '93 mm. game, I'd have been thirteen or fourteen, and it was fucking bananas yeah. on, on the North Bank. In the uh, West Brom game, the West yeah. Brom game down here Sunday afternoon, pissing yeah. down on it, fucking. And I know your fans are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I amazing. remember. I remember being. We was up the me and my old man and, and my uncles and that. We were on the, the top of the tunnel, closest to the away end. You know. What yeah. I mean? yeah. So if we walked in, yeah. we were above it. I was looking down over the tunnel. And my old man was having to hold his hands against the wall, right? Because the boards were literally, you know, five yeah. feet behind us. And it was fucking crushed. And I remember looking down, and where you'd walk onto the North Bank, the, 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 the first sort of TSA, there was a little metal gate, like, you used to open. i never seen anyone shut that gate. It always seemed to be open. And they were just fucking pushing the gate to push people in behind the fucking gate. And I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. It was, there's no room to move. Amazing atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Andy McFarlane had the best game I ever saw him having a swan shot. And then it's going on. I know, I know. I was just, like, no, no, no Andy, Andy Mac. And he probably cost us promotion, the fucking <laughs> mad bastard, <laughs> you know? It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Uh, uh, one of the earliest games... I've ever gone to was the away leg. Oh, you went to Colin West, West got sent off, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, when they'd done that boing boing baggies, yeah, baggies, boing, baggies, baggies, and they fucking, they was by out and they was threatening him. And I know the and bus, well, if they didn't have men and Steve Jones, I think they'd have been fucking, they'd have been fucked because there was about 100 fucking brummies trying to get them on the bus. Men I was down the bottom door and Steve Jones was up the fucking top door. <laughs> and they got it on, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, but. Fuck me, one of the earliest fucking, the earliest you, matches ever. When we were driving out f- from the game, so we coming up fading away, you know, we get where Swansea Bay got. Yeah, yeah. So I pretty much motorway might have just opened it. I can't remember, but there was a lot of traffic going through, and yeah, yeah. some of the, some boys then jumped out and put put the uh, bricks through from the West Brom's bus windows. Right, and yeah, yeah. Which was good, but that was all the way up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swansea, like so. No, no it, was, it was a crazy game. That but was. proper football, dare yeah, I say? Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, how was, often do we talk about fucking atmosphere now? You know, yeah. and it would just think. But I think the, the the style of football then as well sort of give that atmosphere. The well. red yeah, it? Yeah, and yeah. but it was you know nine times yeah there was little tweaks, but it was almost like four four two versus four four two. Spot on. The best yeah, team, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. and you knew what was coming. Yeah. You were gonna get right into people attack and would set it off. Yeah. You know, you, you that was a given that that thing. And now it's like you sit back and you Well in my head, right? In my head, anyone who talks to me, all the youngsters in work, fucking Kevin Lewis and all that, fucking totally all talk about formation, yeah. Christmas tree formation yeah. and uh, CDMs and all yeah, that shit CDMs and all that. <laughs> and uh but well, Kevin Lewis isn't so bad, but some of the really younger ones who only play FIFA and a CDM mm. and it uh Marcus Boy Isaac McKenna and Tyler, so all they know is CDM mm. and fucking and uh, so I'll fucking argue till I'm in the face of football was better back in the day. And then I watched Liverpool, Arsenal, 89. When Arsenal, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking, that's fucking dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, can't fucking, they can't fucking pull two passes no. together, man. It's, don't get me wrong, the game is fucking blood and thunder. Yeah. And it's fucking... But even like, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, fuck, we're way more technical now. Yeah, I, you know. yeah I'm thinking about 
Have you seen that video? It always goes around on Twitter every now and again of that Swans game. Oh, yeah, yeah, where there's it, about it, eight it, challenges for flight. Was who involved in that? I think it was like <laughs> Scunthorpe or something. Right, like he must have been involved and in like that. One ball. challenge goes in and the ball rolls off, then there's another that challenge. Boom, 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 and they're all yeah. flattening each other. I just wonder. It's a page on Twitter, isn't it? Crap 90s football. And it's like a new ball from the Swans. Swans. Yeah, that's down a bit as well. He's just thinking of that. No, I thought, fuck, I got Chris put his foot in that fucking challenge. No, I used to. Still now I still get it, but I was like down in Kamara as a kid, yes, he put two blocks in and I'm like, fucking that's it. Get the form out, you sign in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I took pleasure out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took pleasure out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I never, once, and I'll always say it, once I made a tackle which I regret making. Lucky enough, the boys were like, but once yeah. I saw them rot sail away, and it was fucking like Peter Nicholas had been given out in the dress room after, and I went out with that wasn't me, I was tough, but I was fair. And I did, I, I saw only one tackle I, I regret making. And he was fine, he got up, I got booked. I yeah. should have got sent off. Was it anywhere, over. like, don't forget, you are playing spur at the moment, I know. So everything could be going through. If you had a bad week as well, a bad week training, and someone's wound you up, as we said, in the change room, I suppose, just sometimes it just mess comes over. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think you look at Tatey in the weekend, it was just, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic. Classic. It's, it's, it is. It is. just, yeah. I know Tatey, I know he's got that type of thing in him, but not probably what he did there. In nine times of ten, nothing happens. You know? no, I like no, it. No. Uh, I think um, Tatey been on the roids with Biffy, because that fucking guy went down like a sanction, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell. Tatey fucking plugged him, didn't he? <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, fair enough. Yes, he died. Yeah, he died. That was like that Ames um, Rodriguez one, wasn't it, with uh, Keelan Gibbs on the weekend? Oh, yeah. He left his hands, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 but yeah. he hit the floor like he did him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Really like, he went, the thing that pissed me off with that, he went down because he got mullet. Like, you know, if you're going down because someone yeah. fucking tackled yeah, you on just the floor, then, you know, but like, don't go down because you've been fucking turned no, inside out. I, like I, I, uh, we were playing at Ninian Park and it was right by the dugout. I wouldn't say what it was I kicked because I, I know him and I see him a lot. <laughs> but I fucking went right bang into someone. I hurt my fucking self. Like, mm. I really hurt myself. Can't show anyone. And, no, <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, and he was after the game, we were in the bar after the, I think we drew the game and he's, he's come up to me and I'm chatting to him and he's like, uh, so what was that for? I said, well, what do you mean? It was just normal. Yeah. But my fucking shin was a big fucking egg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't let yeah. no way was no, 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 no. Now, look, I, I totally agree. The boy, all right, the rules are the rules. You should get sent off. But with the VA, you don't need to roll on the floor. Like that. No, no, fuck. It's no, like no. you just stand there. It looks silly. Yeah. Yeah. They show it from so many angles these days. If you've... All right, like, if you raise your hands to someone... You're going to get sent yeah. off these days, you know, right? Yeah, but if you raise your hands to someone and that person tosses himself on the floor right. like you hit them with an overhand yeah. right, then they, yeah. the only person that comes out looking a dickhead in that yeah. situation is it? Well, the worst one, worst one I remember was Rivaldo in one of the oh, World Cups. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone of the money, someone of money, mate, someone of money knocked the ball back and tipped the corner. He gone down like JFK yeah. and he was looking for the magic bullet, didn't he? You know what I mean? Fucking come on. Yeah. And he's one of the best players in the fucking yeah, world. At that time, he was one of yeah. probably the yeah. best players. But again, yeah. that's come from, you wouldn't have had that before. We no. Before, it? Look, they brought, the foreign element have, have been good. Uh, a lot of things in the, in the in the game, and I, I know I, I I welcome them great, but that bit it's just yeah yeah. I yeah. think it needs to be at least spoken to and about. Mm. My I, um my old man used to take Kamalbian Kamalbian uh, used to run Kamalbian kids were younger than me when I got a bit older, and they used to go to Germany every year, and he said you have always had the same problems. You German size with quality. But he went near them, they throw themselves on the floor and they dish it out on a slide. Yeah, and then yeah, they yeah, throw yeah, themselves yeah. on a deck, right? Yeah. So everyone used to get frustrated as fuck, right? Like Nigel O. Yeah. Nigel O got a bit of trouble in everything. <laughs> so I remember Jam O'Brien telling me a story. He went out with a league team to Germany, right? For the Swansea Senior League, like reps side. And um, you know, they had a good side, Swansea League side, obviously, at that time. They went out and played some German sides. And Speedy was manager. Um, yeah. Not Speedy Nigel Stevenson, Speedy. Uh, right, what's this? Chops, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, yeah. Um, so Speedy's coaching and he's going, Right, boys, I know what they like out there, they're diving and everything. Don't be fucking getting involved over there. He got sent off. Lost his head, clapped the yeah, tail, got fucking yeah, sent yeah, off. Yeah. Like, you know, I remember having a bit of a tussle with um, Jordy Gomez when he first came on the right. and again, not, uh, they're clever, they're yeah. clever, they know when to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Now, 
we were the, the weather was bad. We played play football like up against the thing. We had the Spanish goalkeeper coach who was brilliant, and um, he could see it boiling. And then I can you know, I was not good at this. I couldn't fucking dive. I couldn't just get anything. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah. Like an apple, yeah, yeah. But he'd run past and slay anybody in the try. Tw- I fucking exploded. Yeah, yeah. And the Spanish <laughs> keeper coach pulling him away. Goes no, 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 not me. He's like no, no, you, you know, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you respect what they do and you don't you know you don't do that like and it was good doing that way and that that's something which we had then was with Roberto was the ones who bought into what they bought the technical ability and the way they play but they bought into what we were all about yeah. and Gale and people like that and mm. those ones stayed long term. Yeah. So they bought into what we sort of did. Well if you look at Rangel, there's no I don't give a fuck where where the fuck he's from. What country? You don't get no more Jack than fucking Angel Rangel at the, at the end. Yeah, yeah. You know, the fucking kid had fucking uh, seen it all. He was, you know? uh, he's a good lad, Angel. He was funny when he came in because he sport and no English. Really? No, I'm not fucking caught then. But we had as in, right? We'll see signs as well. No, we went, if I. Listen, I'm fucking Swansea two and two. You ain't fucking taking me out. You struggle to get me out in Potana. Right? <laughs> I'm fucking Swansea. This is how I admire. No people who go away to work like Gamma now. Thinks yeah. nothing of, and Luke, you know, yeah. Luke, Luke, Luke Thomas, like, they go to London, to me it's fucking alien, like, I, I could never do it. What, what baffles me is fucking, I like walking through town, knowing everyone, yeah. like, you go to London, I ain't gonna fucking be like Eddie Murphy and come to America, yeah. everyone knows <laughs> who lives <laughs> like, you know, so like fucking, that baffles me, like, he's come to fucking, uh, oh, you, you can't speak well, English. Yeah. Boosie came and Boosie could speak English as well at the same time came, uh, Bowser mm-hmm. so he could speak uh, and he helped him along but he bought into it but if you listen to him speak he's got like a Welsh twang to it right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Prop, and he says things which only the Welsh say like, yeah. yeah and he's so been funny yeah, yeah she's from West Coast no, no, he's living there yeah, 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 yeah. met in Cardiff I think I mean, mm-hmm. yeah I used to see him every now and again down that way when he's working on the taxis I'd pass him you know Bring kids up from school last week. But it was funny when we were at Christmas too, and they all came out with his turtles. There was four of them, I can't remember the other things. Saran, I guess, maybe Hose and one other. So they all come in, they would just swap in the things on, and yeah. it was all <laughs> fucking about me. <laughs> one of the girlfriends come in there and slap the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell, we jagging about like. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, doing the Yam all the time when you when you're coming in there and you're breaking into the side. Obviously, the Swans we done well that time when we went to the playoffs in '97. Oh, right? yeah, the year that, so we got relegated when I made my, the, my debut yeah, that yeah. year, when Jan first came in and then went over. Then we got the playoffs, year, my first year pro. First year pro. How regular was you in the side at that time? Do you know what? I played not many games, about 10, 11 games, I think, that first year. I came, I made my debut as a youth team player, and it, this is sort of the finance of it then. I think I got, I think it was 50 quid for making my debut. Right, but it was just after that. Yeah, well, what's this on top of your wages now? Yeah, 30, yeah that's, it, that's, 30 like, that's like two nights yes. out at least, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, but we, we'd have the white chest wages, which I think were about 40 or quid, yeah, yeah, and 50 quid. But what the contracts they had then were they were um, 50 pound per week and a period, so not per game. So if I played Saturday, oh, Tuesday, yeah. I would have only had 50 pound, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, I had, and then I got uh, stupid. Got, that's it again with well, I know what happened. We, we started the preseason then that that following preseason, and Jan had had a bit of a clear out, brought a couple of people in, and um, you know like I had a pair of trainers, not even gazelles on, but just a normal pair of night trainers, not running trainers, yeah. something like that, with real hard hard back and it was cut out, and I you know I thought fucking do preseason, he's like, you know what's running trainers, yeah. I don't need them. I got it 10 to 9 this in my Achilles then, so I missed yeah. all the things. But we had nothing because of the trainers. Yeah, 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 and I had gym. nothing, the, the gym, but there was no gym, so I missed the pre season tour. They went to Denmark and that. All I can remember, they had this like old like tube thing, and you had a couple of weights in the middle, and you just just stand there and <laughs> give her an hour what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. They rattle and they were like doing curls and that. But I was it, and then I trained for about four days, something like that. and Billy Air was in charge yeah. and then they watched we played in the cup final Welsh Youth Cup final that end of the previous season and I played really well we lost 3-2 to the Wrexham and um, 
he sort of they obviously seen what he was doing and, and literally trained three days and we had no sports science or nothing obviously mm. yeah, yeah. so missed all six six weeks basically trained four days and played at home his link and we lost two one and that, that killed me and then from that moment on I knew then how important the pre-season was mm. because you could never catch up certainly back then where you, really? you didn't have time we didn't have the squad so you were always going to be involved and thrown in and you had no science to back it up mm. so well, you couldn't you know when I was lucky in that earlier on because we went to that Northampton game we had an elevator day you mean oh I was I fucking went down to Brimell in this don't know much about it I was fucking yeah, yeah. and drunk right? but I was only a kid then I was the youngest I think I was 17 and uh I we you only allowed three subs on the bench, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Can you name the three subs? Uh Damien Lacey, um Jason Price. No, he played it. Damien Lacey wasn't in either. Da- Damien was on the bench. I, oh no, I, he was I, in the squad. No, he was in the squad. Me, Robert King weren't in the squad. Um I can name two randomly. You can name one for certain. I can name two for certain. Go on in. Because I know the story. Churchy? Yeah, Sean Chapel, Jan Mulvey, no, oh, Jan, right, Jan I'll tell you what happened, right? I'll tell you what I thought, he's told the story before, before. that's how I knew he knew, um, fucking, whoever was your coach on the bench, would it be Billy Air? Yeah, uh, he told Sean to warm up, and then he went to pull Jan off, and Jan went, not a fucking chance, mm. and Churchy's warming What's, up, thinking he's going to, mm. Sean Chapel's warming up, thinking he's going to get on, and was, uh, and Mulvey's like, that was a famous, uh, Churchy had, um, Sean Chapel Wembley party, didn't he, in the night after? When <laughs> 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 he rolled up in a rug or something, he so he made his own man's house. He don't die. Uh, <laughs> that's one thing I would say about Sean, like, he's one of the most understated fucking people that he'll ever meet. Like, he don't, it would be a work, especially with Ryan's uncle, right? Ryan's uncle will come over and tell us about the hat trick he scored for Roxburgh against Cadlamel, right? Uh, he tell you that he woke up and Wattle's old man turned to the fucking bench at Penn Plas and said, change your plan, Pridmore's playing, right? <laughs> Pridmore's telling us the story about playing Penn Plas and Sean Chapel was sub of Wembley and he got me into it. And I'm like, I can't tell, I can't talk to Sean about football. He just got, and Sean needed that, and he's great lad, Sean, and good Brilliant player. Brilliant Really good mm. player. He just needed that certain manager that would yeah, sort of give him that, yeah, 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 that yeah. chance. And Jan had just started doing it, just before he got sacked, and then Chapel yeah. went there, his head went for yeah. 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 so subs Steve said, Jones broke his leg Dave Penny played right back you said Church you said he knew two I thought Moby I thought no, no, Lee Jones no. keeper no was he there then I this boy, we went out for the pint with him on a few occasions. Oh, with Jeremy Harris. Ah, uh, was Chris, yeah. Ryan Casey. Ah, Ryan, Ryan Casey. Was on the bench, yeah. yeah. Well, by the by, what I saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. by Wikipedia, yeah, oh, Ryan Casey. Know, right? But then again, Ryan Casey could have changed that Wikipedia to put Ryan Casey. Yeah, in the yeah. Ryan, yeah. Ryan was only a year or two older than me. Ryan was a, uh, he was a first year when I was a second year. Yeah, so he's yeah. two years older than me yeah. then, yeah. So that, yeah, so Ryan Casey and Linton Brown. Ah, Linton Brown. Who would have given me a million pounds? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Casey, to be honest, I thought, because Ryan, if that was 97 and I was 17, Ryan was 19. Mm. So he had nipped into the squad yeah, and yeah. he done well yeah. at first. And yeah, I was always thought Ryan was pretty, really talented. Mm. Yeah, he was good. With yeah, hips, and he's a good boy as well. He was a funny yeah. boy. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, I just saw his things because I went to look at that game. I wondered if you'd, yeah, you'd no, played, I didn't, I didn't. and um, and then I saw the subs. I thought, fuck, I wonder. I knew you'd get Churchy because mm. we've talked about yeah, it before. It's fine, subs, really, isn't it? Yeah, three, three, when, yeah, three says they brought they brought Linton Brown on for yeah. either eggs or. He's doing right for himself, Linton. Is he really? Yeah. He was, <clears throat> oh, football and director. I think shows at Barnsley. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, fair dues. Yeah. Just to be involved is like. You know, takes because when you think of it, there's only 92 clubs yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. And who think of all the ex professional fucking yeah. footballers? We did, they said we had nothing, even then. We went up on the bus, the boys who weren't in the squad, we went up on the bus, and uh, just in you know, a different bus, not with the squad. But it, going back to that season, because I was injured, I didn't get attracted. I didn't fucking no, she did. <laughs> so, 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 no, no, you talked about 10 minutes ago, I, I forgot to pick you up on. When you it, it only said a fleet in you when you said, Oh, we didn't have a gym. Now, to any youngsters listening yeah, now, yeah. when you mean we didn't have a gym, no, you mean Swans didn't have a no. fucking gym. Well, we had a at the the um at the vet, you were underneath the bottom of the east stand, there was the what they call a gym, but it was like all old yeah, stuff, yeah, and yeah. nothing you know, modern, yeah, basically bench press and a couple of bamboo things you jump over, like you, right, you know, yeah, pretty much that was it. 
But then they changed that into a bar, so we didn't have a bar. <laughs> 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 so it's like, yeah, but, um, priorities, I think you call yeah, that. But with a tracksuit, we, we didn't, because he wasn't in the squad, because he, yeah. he was injured, they didn't have tracksuits. So I didn't have a tracksuit until I travelled away that season, whenever that was, September, October. Fuck, you know. When you think that? Well, the pro then. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, for me, yeah. that would yeah. be the first... Because we never had a... We had one of the worst tracksuits in the world as a story through that as well. And Gunnar mentioned it last night to me, funny enough, when he messaged me. But it was like that was... There was things you'd start. So you get a youth team and you'd be in your way dress room. Yeah. You want to get into the first team, into the home dress room. That's yeah, the yeah. first thing change. Yeah. But then when you're in that first team dress room, then, then there's like steps you've got to make when you're in there like so that's the first part get it through the door mm. and you're the first year pro then you've got to build it and get it you know close to the team or or get another year and they start at, at, at the end of it but the other thing was to get attraction you know to actually yeah you're so part you of the squad of course yeah, it was yeah, yeah. you were part of the club then you know you've got you've got something with a badge on it mm. you know it's you know it's, it's proud like to, to get it so. i didn't mind now that every swansea league team I've got a track yeah. suit now. Mm. Just out, no funny how it yeah. fucking how it evolves over. Because yeah. I was dead against the tracks, which I was always jeans and fucking yeah. t-shirt on a football. But then over the years, like I'd see fucking clubs wearing tracks, which I'd be like, what the fucking Swansea League? But now over the years, I changed my opinion on it because nobody goes up men in the with on a Saturday. It looks wicked, man. Yeah. We've got all the different all the clubs, different you know. Club. I, you know, and I'm totally, mm. I fucking went totally one totally. eighty, like it looks great. Yeah. And I'm saying as a professional pop lover, like, you have to have tracks. Well, that was my, you know, it was like to get the tracks. Yeah. You'd be like, you know, feeling like you made yeah, it. Yeah, well, yeah, first yeah. step, and all the mm. next step, and like you know. Yeah. But uh, it was we, we didn't get one. <laughs> we didn't <get> <laughs> But that shows at the time how skint the swans were yeah, probably. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. everyone got a track suit down there now, they're yeah. throwing them away. No one sees it as a badge of honour now, probably, no, no. you know. I mean, yeah. It was, it was the next step, it was like I'm proud now. Pretty you know, show show it off. Yeah, almost, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like you say, it's mad that like those little things youngsters probably don't understand now. Like the, what you had to go through to even get to that, you know, the character building, the things the, the, the brushing the fucking the well, cleaning the boots the, the I think that's something which they should do now I know it's the, it never happened but I think it's something they should do character building like ah oh, just discipline and discipline with one of us little, little things that, and he was I, I speak to you know obviously no time in my day yeah, yeah, yeah. he was tough fucking really tough he wouldn't get away with it now and what I, I I probably wouldn't change it you know because it sets you up for life yeah, yeah. you know but he was one of us would it. I used to catch a bus from Port Talbot over. So depending on what time we had to be in, I'd either get a lift up to town to, uh, with my own man and then catch a quick one over. Or I'd get one that goes on the fucking houses everywhere yeah, and yeah. get over. But if one of us was a minute late, everybody had to be an half hour earlier the next day. Right, okay. So yeah. that for me then Fuck would have been like, yeah, 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 yeah. an hour yeah. so on. So it, it would, but everything. So we clean the rooms, uh, clean the rooms, and Jimmy favourite one up. I'd lost my keys, so we'd all have to go searching. The keys were on his desk. Yeah. But we'd all have to go searching now and do it. Have to do the rooms again. Like, yeah. You know, but everything was like so much bad discipline. Got to do it. Got to be folded right. Cup of tea, the pot of tea, be on the manager's desk at nine o'clock, just minute minute to nine, be on the desk ready for him. Uh, you know, just it, I know they sound minute, but they were. No proper proper doing. We all had to wear trousers as well. So to go into work it was a like a t shirt or collar t shirt and trousers. Really? So there's no traction, no jeans, no we didn't have a traction. Yeah. <laughs> and that wear the, the, the thing. Smart shirt, dress, yeah. yeah. Shirt and tie to games, home and away. Yeah. Mm. So it was always it was no, it was it was it was yeah, it was it was tough. It was a tough, tough thing. But again it was no, we, that bit I wouldn't change. And I think they gotta do it now because it gives you gives you grounded. It gives you that sort of thing. Like again, like, look, all I wanted was the track suit, mm -hmm. and I'll get into first in track suit. And then I'd always, I'd always, I seen that thing on Twitter yesterday. But someone says there's a picture in one of the academy of Man United of Messi doing his own boots. Right. But I got, I, I wouldn't want anybody else to do my boots because they were mine. Like, you know, yeah, it was like yeah, my yeah. clothes, so I wouldn't. No, no, they just do them. Maybe it's just me, but you know, I didn't want them too wet or too this or yeah. too that. No, mm -hmm. so I looked after them, but. You know, I'd always respect then the, the youth team boys coming up because I knew what they were going through. Yeah, yeah. But it, as long as they showed the respect back to you, yeah. then you were fine. Like, you yeah. know? Who did you look up to then when he was you? Well, I always remember, I think it was Ronnie Walton said to me, 
you know, pick pick a couple of players in the in the dressing room and and watch what they do. And it was always John Conforth and Keith Walker, yeah. two two different players, yeah. but two both were captain and vice captain, but you know, really good at their job. Couple of big strong leaders, yeah, there, like a yeah. fucking side. Like, like. Corny was like more jo- jovial and had a laugh, and they were fucking about and this that, and the other, and, but serious on the pitch. Yeah. And Keith was more straight. This is what you do, and I always remember he didn't hump it. He said, "Chris, don't worry, just fucking he didn't hump it." That was it. That was yeah, yeah. stuck in my he, mind, um, like, you know. I when I was on trial uh, ninety six, he um he had was out of contract. Someone was a contract dispute, so we were down fair within the summer, and obviously the first team trained, and I was with the YTs and the trainees, and him and John Hodge were in with the YTs and Johnny Gray were in with the YTs and the trainees. And I remember playing with him a few times, you know, in like training games yeah. and that. And I played at the back. And I remember the first time I met him, and I'm like, fuck me, that's Keith Walker, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And he just went, oh, what's your name, boy? I said, uh, and Ryan, he said, I'm Sky. He said, stick with me, do what I do, it'll be fine. And I played it. And, that, and I was just like, oh my God. I just like, after that moment, I idolised him. I was like, he could have been a proper prick to me then. He's yeah, 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 a yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's a proper person to me as well. And yeah. that's, that makes him a better player. Yeah, so, yeah. And the person side of it was, but you'd see now, or a few years ago when I was back with the twin ones, you could tell the ones who got a chance of making it because they'd follow the right people. Yeah. And you could see the ones then who were just after it for the the money. To be a show. Yeah, 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 you know, the car and this, that, the other sort of thing. But there's a process to get that car. So people would obviously, like, with Brits, people see Brits, the finished article, you never see how Brits got there. Oh, I remember Britain driving like a proper banger yeah, when he first but, got there. But what do you want to say? He actually left the Premier League with West Ham to come down the league to to fight his way back up to Europe. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the mo- I strongly believe he might disagree, but from me looking at it and thinking about it coaching wise, I think he's he benefited so much and got so much of his game from playing in the low leagues with the balls going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Reading it second balls and that I think he got a lot from 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 that experience. Yeah. You know? Well I with Britain, the thing that's yes, I'm on the ball he very rarely give the ball away, didn't he? Yeah. A lot of people say that when fucking Rogers signed Joe Allen, he actually signed the wrong one. You should have signed Britain, really, where there was age like come into effect. But I've never seen a footballer better t- a better tackler on his feet. Mm. He never had to dive into a tackle, whether it's because of how, how slight he was. Mm. Sometimes he would Just get reading it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah reading. like but it's a lot bit. of like um, you'd see these big powerful centre midfielders, and they don't expect this little Terry just to pop his foot wrong in front of them. No, it's no, a no, fucking no. art in itself. Yeah. Like, again, you know? he's, he's reading again. And yeah, that's to say that's an art. That's probably one of the basics. You yeah. don't again. It's difficult to coach because you've got to with the academies. They don't get that so much now because they're not getting the long balls and the head is down mm. and this that and the other. And that's why if they they do that. The better players adapt to the the surroundings and what they do and. I've always said, like the boy Josh here now, who's at uh, Newport. Newport and doing yeah. really well now, there's talk of people coming in for him. Uh, he's unlucky, he got an injury at the wrong time and he fell with the wrong wrong manager at the time. Because he would probably be playing now. But again, he adapted. So when he went on loan, people would say, he'd go, oh, they don't play football. I hate that. They do play football. Yeah. That's football. Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. that is football. Yeah, so, different styles. Yeah. yeah. So, he had to sort of adjust his game to it. You know, it's taking him, although he's in the team, it's taking him probably a year, 18 months to actually become a mainstay of the team. And he has done that. Now there's people talking about him moving on. Yeah. And that's where you have to adapt and take those elements. You know you're a good footballer. Brits has been an unbelievable footballer, but he developed the other side of it yeah. you know, mm. to get where he was. A couple of things, like one who talked about Newport, they were experiencing a few of the best years in the fucking ah, history for yeah, the yeah. last few years because when you're in that fucking level it's all about the scouts yeah, 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 yeah. mate they done it last night they done it the night before they beat yeah, someone by three one like, and, um, and what I'm saying about people saying um, oh, that's not football right I'll never get it when uh, Rogers um, when it was the time when Rogers was obsessed with the, like the keeper would never hit it long Vaughan would always have to give the football back sometimes people forget when we talk about the Swansea loan I think and all that Sometimes football is all about playing through strengths, mate. So like keeping the ball is, is what is great, right? But if you've got Andy Carroll up front who don't lose an header and you've got wingers who are fucking great crosses, it's nothing more exciting than having wingers who can whip a ball into a big centre forward. It might not be 
ticky tack no. and win like like Spanish football and everyone copied. But it's still football, like you but said. Then go back to what we said earlier on, where you had that blood and that sort of mm. yeah. Because you you're up your thirty yards from there, you go like, and uh, Stoke's a great example where they changed. They were very very successful yeah, totally in what good. they did. Yeah. With then the fans yeah. sort of went, oh, I, know, I want this. You get a spot, don't you? Get a spot. And then all of a sudden, now they change it, and yeah. look where they are now. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. uh, look at Chart with Kirby Yeah. 10th, 11th, 10th, 9th, 12th. And all of a sudden, they're like, oh, this is fucking boring. They get rid of Kirby Street. They haven't fucking, they haven't looked back since. So they, yeah. they've gone yeah. down and down and Financial down. Financial trouble. As well. Everything. Everything. Yeah, everything like, like, you know, with it, like. yeah. Yeah, but it, like you say, the, the game had changed. But that's in people's mentalities. Mm. Surely, like you said, I, I hate to see teams play square pegs and round holes. It doesn't make fucking happen. Yeah, yeah. And especially play way that you know doesn't suit them. Like, you know? Because yeah. oh, we've got to play this way. This is in my head. Mm. I'm a good manager. I should look at a side and go, right, how can I set up this team to win games? Mm. Not like I'm going to force my mentality or my uh, my theories on this team. Because you can't do it to every team. I think it's you can, not every team can be Barcelona. No, no. You know I know. I, mean? I go back to the academy when I was back there who was looking at it and they were talking about like you know everybody because Brits was the mainstay and being pretty much right the way to mm. it they were all like oh no Brits 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 but they couldn't you couldn't make another Brits no, you no, know you yeah, can't yeah. make it but they forgot no one mentioned him reading at the game like it was always plays I remember watching Stan and I'd go and watch everything because my even when I went up to the first team and it wasn't about me being a first team coach. And yeah. like I said to you at the start, I probably should have done more about that. Yeah. It was me being part of Swansea City. So I tried to go back to when I was um when I was early in the pro. When we was at the Vex, I knew every player coming through. So every youth, every sort of fourteen, fifteens, I knew who they were. What do you mean I want to be well, yeah, for I, Because like... I can remember being that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh so I'd say, you know, fragments say, but what so and so's what what is he is he fourteens or fifteens now? Like who we got coming up this year. So you sort of knew who yeah, was coming yeah, up. Yeah. And because like you said that time when you'd come up to the so the school boys would be in in the in mm. the school holidays, you'd go and say speak to them and you know, oh, yeah. how's it going? It's what the, so they knew them, you know. But don't you think then there's a lot of them kids now, no we said earlier, we were the ones you looked up to. There's probably a lot of them kids would say Chris O'Leary, wouldn't it? Yeah, that, you know, you because he's showing yeah, them yeah. respect and mm-hmm. fucking, and he paying attention yeah, to them as but, well. But again, when I go back then to, to, to what the club was, I when I was coaching, I'd go and watch. So if it was a game on a fair one, I wouldn't want to go I might go and watch them off the twenty ones or playing eighteens. Mm-hmm. If I could, I'd go and watch them because I felt it was my duty. I thought that no, as a coach, as an employee of the Swans the Swans, as as it being my club and all I wanted to do was be at the club. But no, I'd go and watch them. So I started to watch those games and I, I used to get frustrated with the, the midfielder where it's, uh, go, like you were saying, I remember watching Cardiff, a Swansea Cardiff affair with under 16s. And I, it was a goal kick at Swansea, Cardiff on the halfway line. And it was out to the midfielder, back to the full back, back to mm-hmm. the keeper, Cardiff would nick it, another goal kick. Yeah. So I thought, right, okay, well, going back 2007, the way we were playing was totally different to Alien, to everybody. So people were four foot two. You just play through them. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, All yeah. of a sudden, now people are doing impressive. So I remember going to the court. I want to see was. I said, "Well, what's the boy like up front? He goes, he's not a big. Can't hold the ball up. You know, he don't hold it up very well. But uh, he's got a lot of pace." I well, put it on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with rolling it out or turning turn and just clipping down the side and opening the game? Play to his strengths. You basically write him off because he can't hold the ball. Yeah. Up. Mm. Well, if you put him in where his strengths are, instead of looking at strengths. They look at, you know, really yeah. sort of promoting... You're making the kid one-dimensional, right? I, I, I went you know to watch, mean? around that time, I went to watch a lot of age group. My boy was just getting into football, my oldest boy. And we, he, if he's seen he, something... Oh, Daddy, can we watch this? We watch the 16s, 18s, 21s, 23s, we mm-hmm. watch more. And it was like as if... You tell me if I'm wrong here. But they, the Swans had decided every team's going to play this way. And... You, you watch the teams, no matter what age group they were, they played exactly the same style, exactly the same pace. That's what a lot of us yeah. stood out. It was too slow. And there was no variance in, in, in the play. And all the boys can play, there's no doubt in that. But it just looked like they were, this was way too slow and there was no change. So if, if I'm a manager playing against that, and I know you're going to play a certain way, I know how to set up against you. Mm. So, so there's, there's no plan B. Like, there was a lot of that around that time. Like, you know, like you said, if they'd have just started clipping balls. And I watched the, the game I, I talked about when I, went, I saw 
gigs he's buying, I saw Liam Cullen. Liam Cullen worked his bollocks off chasing across uh, the lines when they had the ball, but had rarely had any chances himself mm. to get down the channels, which you knew that's what he wanted, because yeah. he was he was small, he was only 16 playing against 18s, and they were giving the ball to his feet, and he was getting out muscle. Yeah. So I was saying, fuck, don't, don't, don't keep doing that. Yeah. Play it on the side, man. Get the, the way they want to play, and that's, that's yeah, because that's, they want, they say in the DNA, but you've got to ask them to express a bit more, and to think mm. a bit more, and, and to, to what's on. So if I was in the first team I was playing, I know they'd clip it over the top. You know, yeah, so yeah. you want to, all of a sudden you go, a fair play, he's seen it, he's done it. Yeah. You know, he can do that. So he knows, right? And then you say, well done, you made the right decision at the right time. Mm. And when it's on, and if he doesn't, he forces it, then it's not. And when the game opens up, then the small pass is come. So it's not a long ball. It's the ball which is right at the time. Mm. And, you know, it's something which... I think they, again now, because of the financial situation at the club and what's going on in the world, the younger players will get an opportunity to get pushed up and you might see over the next few years. And with an academy, even in, a, in a, probably in the Premier League, it's how many boys from the, that academy go out and play and make league football. Mm -hmm. now I, I, when I took over the Linda, and I took some stick, I know I remember doing a, uh, the wave, the phone in, um, it was around about well, it would be about seven years ago. It was around about the um, the Valencia club because I remember right, yeah, yeah. that. And someone phoned up and said, "Oh, you, you know, you're in charge of the under twenty ones, but you haven't won this, you haven't won that. You've got no right to win anything for starters. But it's not about the win. Yeah, everybody wants to win. But out of that team, you've got Joshie and Liam Shepherd, uh, Ryan Edges that came later. I got I can name probably another four or five boys who played league football. Mm. So for me, so when I took, success, yeah, yeah, when I took yeah. over. The end of twenty ones. Mm. It'd been a thing where Brendan loved had all the kids in, and Roberto was the same. Had him in, just to the side of the first team. And if we needed up, we'd come up. Mm. come. Michael took over, and I took over the same. You know, the twenty ones at the same time, and the twenty ones was new. It was the first year of it. Mm. And uh, Mike said, "How many plays have you got?" And I'm like, "Whatever you don't want." And that, that was my answer. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know. It's all the other thing, but he didn't know this was happening because this was new. So basically, I think we had five first year pros, four or five first year pros. We had a group then, a second or third years, that's been with Brendan in and out and made a curse thing. Mm. Didn't want to come backwards to this. Yeah, group. of course, yeah. And he would like, sort of, I want to go, no, no, I want to do this, and just didn't want to be around it. So it was, it was, I ended up playing youth team players in the 21. So we'd win a game, we'd lose two, we'd win a game, we'd lose, you know, that sort of thing. But, but ultimately, it's been Connor Roberts was one. Josh, uh, Josh Sheehan, Liam Shep, but I go through him again. You know, all these well, boys. Kyle Copper. Yeah. Copper, he was no, he was younger. He was younger. Although the year after I played him a couple of times it, it, with the, the 20, 21s at the time. But those are the ones that you, you know, the Connors was a midfielder. Mm -hmm. I can remember when I was coaching, when I was still playing, and just when I finished, when I was at Neath, I used to do a bit on a Monday night with the, with the age group down in uh, Parker Scarlet's. And uh, I can remember Connor, a midfielder, and he was never going to be that midfielder for the Swansea type when mm. it's you know, played in back mm. and facing, you know, facing all goal, turning in and that. But, but we played him full back then, and I can remember him making you know, mistakes at full back. And, and, but he, what he's got again, the mentality of Connor is if someone's fit, I'm going to be fit there. Yeah, yeah, and he's got that little yeah, yeah, nastiness yeah. in it. Now, Liam Shepard's got that, who got released from Swansea and went. Peter Burr went to Forest Green is now in Newport played last night. Right, right? Yeah. It's good news to Josh here. But he's got it in a different way. Again, he's looking at other people doing it. He said, I can do that. Mm. And he's determined to go mm. and get that. You know, and he took a gamble in the summer leaving Forest Green, not knowing what the world's going to be like. Yeah. And it's not because he's ended up in Newport and, and you know, flying, he's doing mm. himself no harm whatsoever. Mm. But it's you know, it's a chance you take. But they will then benefit a lot from it. Yeah. You know, and it's I think that's the way the, the academy should be going, personally. And I think it helped me in it, and it's, the proof is there with it. Mm. You know, I financially as well, I remember saying, going in and going, right, well, don't blow them out the water with stupid money. Give them something to f train for. They don't need the money at that age. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, give, them, them all. yeah, give, yeah, them, yeah. give them that, give them X amount as a first year. If they're doing really well by Christmas, so give them a year. If they're doing really well by Christmas, put them up to the second year's money, so you I really got eighteen months of that second year's money. 
at the end of the 18 months, two years, you'll have an idea where it is. So if they get in more money, then they'd probably earn it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Rather than it being, it was all over the place, the spanners here, everywhere. It was really? Crazy, yeah. Uh, but it was like, that's the way they were running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how your hands yeah. as a coach. Yeah, yeah. and that's when you got, you used to get a bit frustrated of it. And then you think, well, you're missing a point. You're taking something away from them to, to aim at. Or even for mm. giving it to them for no reason. Yeah, you look at like you know, I know Chelsea. A lot of the big sides are guilty of it. These kids are millionaires before you even know mm. their name. Before they, yeah, before yeah. they play down full of games. Like. Yeah, you don't even know their name, and then they're on to thirty grand because yeah. right? they're afraid that someone else someone is going to come along. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why you will never it. change. Well, so you will never change. Some have taken the gamble, but from areas where, like Brentford, haven't got an academy now. They've got like a B team and that. Right. But they pick up the players and who've been released from the Arsenal, Chelsea, yeah, and then yeah. offer them. A route in the senior football, mm. so you've yeah. got a you you got a good selection there. But well, imagine they're doing down the age, you know what you got, like you got. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah it's, it's uh, a tough one. It is a different world down here, and it looks like we're gonna go sort of through a loan way instead. Yeah, I think they, uh, the way it is at the minute, it, that's that's the way that uh, the club are gonna gonna go the next however long. Really. Yeah, no, that's. I that's think it's used a big year. From what I can understand regarding the obviously the payments finished at the end of this year, don't they? And what have you so? Yeah, there's a lot like obviously there's been talk a lot about the academy going and and. I and think all it's that. with all honesty. Uh, it was uh, when they won the academy, they won the league. It's a great achievement, but they won it again with the age group. But no, they beat in Chelsea. So they beat Chelsea like two one or three one. They didn't beat Chelsea's 20s, they beat their 19s. Yeah, right. You know, they, Chelsea's yeah. 23s, this like a time here, was top scorer for all first team. Right, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. so you've got to put it under perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think possibly this now, if this enables to push younger ones up, is better for them, like, you know, better a better level for them. Mm. I just don't want to see, you know, them closing buildings down and training grounds. It would take them too long to get them. Exactly, you know, that's the one. Yeah, we've been talking about you, and next thing you go back and you, you train in and you know, uh, quarter, but yeah, uh, it's university, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, um, you, you yeah. Take, we've worked too hard to get to where we are. To, to, mm. For those, those have got to be legacies, they've got to be there, they've got to keep them open. You know, it, it, you know we, I remember watching Brendan train, they were leading up to first year of Prem, uh, Man United away. So, <laughs> I, I just I was watching, so Brendan had like a first team squad playing a game on, a, on the 3G at Clandarcy, so crossroad, not even on the grass. And then like at the bottom end, then you know behind the post and the, the try line there was Kurt with the five or six other boys like so, Swansea's whole senior squad is on one three G. Yeah. So Man United are up in Canada and with up in twenty other years. <laughs> like, you know, right? Oh, so so it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Balance, it was nuts. But that's what made us different and mm-hmm. special. Because you would have trained up, land. You would have trained up. Um, what did what was the pitches? Where the Amazon is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he would have trained uh, it. Oh, what did they call it? Oh, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, James Marine. Yeah. James Marine. Yeah. 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 The, the fence pitches. is still there, yeah. The, the gates are still there. If you drive by, when a lot of these now, you can yeah. see the gates, yeah. Because they locked it at one point because we hadn't paid whoever. But it was all on the fence. You know, the claims yeah. were the fence. Fucking rabbit holes everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fell in the Fuck rabbit holes yeah. in the snap. <laughs> because, obviously, going back to you coming through, there's like a couple of big things that happened for the Swans even before a lot of you know a lot of old heads would remember this you know our age and that but a lot of youngsters listening may not remember West Ham FA Cup win yeah big day we had a big day that big day Colin Bream was selling Ford's tickets outside because there's a sale <laughs> one, of, one of the shoplifters got done he, he got done with 800 quid and 26 Ford Shorts tickets <laughs> you know what I mean? and uh, he, fair play he didn't grass he was like uh, Henry Hill and Goodfellas like, well man who didn't who, never grass any bits I don't want to stay loyal like, that's what they said the cards he was fucking getting <laughs> but that was a big one did play like, I mean, no I didn't no, play, didn't play that game but it was a big one for through but um one, one thing I want to ask about, we haven't talked about it much here, and I just, I don't know why I thought about this today. Obviously, we got promoted in 2000, the Rotherham yeah. game. And obviously, in that game, what is more remembered about that now is Terry Cole Terry, is yeah. dying. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, of course. So, obviously, you're inside the club at the time, and I don't think we've ever asked anyone this, and I don't know why I thought of this today. What's that like, being inside the club? We we found out about it probably on the M50, something like that, yeah. On the way back, it, yeah, and probably the, the manager on the way in or on the way, out, out, on the way back, right? Oh, so, someone must have found out, must have known about it, but we sort of got to hear about it on the M50. John Holland must have had a phone call or something on the way home, 
And we were due to have a party, I think, in the you know, the TA Centre next to Vets. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I remember him saying that, look, you know, this has happened. Don't you know we're not having a party. Don't go out and this that and that. Which is respect. Like, which yeah, is respect. Yeah. Which you know we were like, yeah, okay, we we got. In the end, we, look, we did go out as a group, but we went into town. We yeah, were not yeah. uh, like a big party. And then Kurt said, look, you know, you've achieved something. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah, them in yeah. mind, but, yeah, you know, yeah. go out. But I remember that game because we, well, that was a week. You know, this is preparation for a for game, right? This year we go. <laughs> so we, no, see this now. This is what we played on a Saturday during the week before Exeter at home. We yeah. won and we got promoted. It was a PFA awards on a Sunday. So I, a few would have been the year before, but not many of us. So we said, right, we're going up. So, of course, you went get promoted, everything on the pitch, a uh, few cans. Uh, I felt half like kept on the train by Bajen. Right, so we yeah. left on a Saturday night. We have a night out in London. We come back early hours in, uh, early hours in the morning, and then in the hotel, sleep, get up, breakfast, back to bed, quick kip, and right, meeting in the Swan, uh, which is around the corner, I don't know, 11 o'clock in the morning. A few pints there, straight to Punch and Judy in the Common Garden. Common Garden, yeah, yeah. So on... Pre- uh, PFA Awards say that was a place and team after team coming really? full of football yeah, 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 yeah. so we were in there Coo Snow sorted out his tickets for the thing because he's high up of course he was in the PFA yeah, 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 yeah. Sky, right? nice. so we got now on the round tables I guess that's we've got Man United Arsenal stage now Man United Arsenal Swansea Blasted, we're all pissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. got a ticket for Gunner. Gunner's on the table. Oh, Gunner's yeah, yeah, got yeah, a chance. Yeah, of course, yeah. he, 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 comes, he comes straight from the Rolling Stone Park yeah. in the main fair, did he? Seriously, no. So, like Johnny Green would say, he's, like, he's watching you know, Sky flicking over and then the camera goes on his Gunner. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Gunner. Green's yeah. tapping and he, he's at the fight for work delivering <laughs> the bad yeah. gal and he's fucking living. <laughs> so, anyway, we're on the thing I'm, all day on that. Again, now block though. Awards night out after the awards on the train on the way home, so we like, oh, fuck, we might as well have a couple of cans on the way home. This is a Monday, no bang, all the Monday. So halfway down, the boys phone up, then the, the girls, all the girls come and meet us. Oh, we've won the, you know, we've promoted it. So all the girls meet us on the, on the Monday, so that's like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we train on the Tuesday, now feeling a bit rough. Bound the end, like, right, end of season door on Wednesday. So we're in there. Uh, we get out on the Wednesday, like, you know, oh, boys, we've got a game Saturday. Like, we've, and we've been having a bit of stick with the keeper from Rotherham in the hotel at the PFA Awards. Yeah. Oh, we're going to beat you next week. Oh, that shit. They had to beat us, didn't they? So uh, we went out on the Wednesday, and then Thursday, we didn't bother Thursday because we had the game Saturday. <laughs> and then we travelled up. And it, but when we were at the game, I can remember you know, feeling a bit rough because we had yeah, a hell yeah. of a week. Well, we have done a but fucking six <laughs> <day long. laughs> So as the... Um, as the... Uh, no, we don't to warm up. You can see because it's that way where Kenny passed away. Like it was that little lane, yeah, 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 lane yeah, yeah, alongside. Yeah, yeah. So we've got the main road, then we've got the lane comes down into your way in. So I'm looking out for my mother and my father who are giving my comps to. And the comps said, you no, know, like you said, when they all come charging. Yeah, so they're all yeah. charging down. The comps are like, like so one stand comes in right next to each other. Right. Like, they've been, um, like a right angle. Like, so they all fucking sat there. Like, I'm terrible. I'm about, just move along. Like, you know, the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you could see all the all the, the hassle going on, and you could you could sense something was was wasn't right then everywhere, like, yeah. you know. Because in, in that game it was a pitch invasion. We scored a penalty. Our fans on. Yeah, they yeah. were a penalty. Their fans on. We were off twice. It's a different, and different game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was mad. But, but Coatsy, you fucking know, boy, and Coatsy's in there after, and the, the chairman comes in. And he's like, oh, and we won the league. Got the cap done. Chairman, chairman, you won the estate agents Monday, and I went, what? They say you know book Raleigh. Fucking travel agents coach. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and the chairman's words, oh, you won in one league too. I was like, all right, I'll put a dampener on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Away, What's you know? the chairman then? Eh? Uh, Steve Amer. Right, nice, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I was. And, but going back to it, yeah, we found out on the way home, and it, it did, it, it sort of... It takes it. it, it, it yeah, does, I guess it, things before social media and yeah. all that, isn't it? Mm. As we said, and then, you were, like, with the phones, we weren't text me, oh, everything yeah, was yeah. Yeah. pretty early on in the phone, saying we'd make a phone call, like, so no, it was it was it was it was a difficult one because I think Sky had his testimonial end, didn't he on the I think it was a Wednesday or a Thursday right. against Villa, and I remember them doing a thing before the game and that as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, no. But I was another. I was Boundy's Bar at his finest. Boundy's Bar. Yeah, 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 we had Boundy on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boundy's Bar that night we would because uh, we played sorry on the Tuesday or the Wednesday and on the whatever either the Wednesday. Or the Thursday, Almost must have been a Wednesday night because we ended up in Barons. We had uh, Sky had a do in Brangenau 
right. uh, Craig Brown was speaking. So I said, oh, no, we just won the league. We got presented our league medals and a lovely little things, little small little, little, little medal thing. Still got it? Yeah, yeah. yeah good. And um, <laughs> presented to him in the vet field changing over by John Hollins. Like, no, so yeah, yeah, yeah. just won the league. Like, and then, fuck, yeah. So we had to make over, like, say, 10 yeah. appearances and he'd yeah. come up and shake your hand like with the boys. So anyway, no that was it. Like, no, 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 that, that was it then. So we, we went out then to... Um, so bounced out right corner around my house, so we all went round there because we were going to Sky's doing the night. So we were around there boiling on out this guy and tune blasting in his back. Then we went uh, for a change, Wig and Pen, Brang and all, Barons, back to Bowley's back. Back in you know, so the thing. Pass was there blocked up. Again, trying to get past again to get him a lift on. He wasn't at the club at the time. Get him a lift on. So we thought he'd gone, but he fell asleep in his front room. Right, yeah. So like hours went by and all this, you know, going on. We went right the way through. So, about, I don't know, six or something like that in the morning, we're out in the garden, we're walking, we go to the toilet, can you hear something like So I can pass walking back through, like, I'm like, like, <laughs> like, the phone now and get him. Yeah, yeah. So we get him all. So we gone, Kurt, still at me, Boundy, Damien Lacey, I think, Michael Howard, Kurt and Jamie Charles. Kurt can have a session. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charles. So anyway, he's we, in the ball foot every <laughs> night. <isn't> he? <laughs> so, <laughs> he said to me every day, he said, "Fucking hell, alcoholic." Yeah. <laughs> well, he, we went then to um, so we went over to Sam's cafe and had a yeah. breakfast. Coming back in, bought a couple more beers, went back to his house. We had no, no sleep. By this time, Bowley's missus had gone, gone to work, filming. Tapping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. all it. So Kurt then phoned up the secretary from the club. So they picked, she picked up them. Um, Kurt and Charlo took them down the white rose. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so they were in the white rose. We were all in his house still going. So Bounty's missus coming up filming you know. Right, I booked them all in, get ready, we've got to we've got to get money, we're going tomorrow. <laughs> he's like, all right. So I remember him saying he walked into she worked in Barclays at the time, walked in the back, he's tripped over the step and fell in the back, he's like, oh for the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, he's, he's a chap he's a chap chicken with his side but no it was a hell of a party and I think someone had been sick in a downstairs toilet and he didn't find out for the fault like that oh, 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 that was the rumours fuck oh fuck oh Tom Pasco wasn't it no I think I think I know it was I bet he didn't pass. mention that in the fucking Liverpool documentary oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a different time then what do you think about it every time you talk to the old boys of your generation you've always got great stories about going out on the piss yeah. with the other boys like I don't think you'd have that now would you with the Mate, no problem. there's nothing there's nothing interesting about going to a VIP bar nah. and be nah. in a roped off area drinking fucking bottles nah. of Grey Goose with a sparkle in there it's all, no, no, you know, it's all it's bullshit, bullshit isn't it? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean exactly. like we said saying earlier about the kids who had it yeah. so easy like I think it was um, who's uh, which I can't think of the Chelsea player whether it was fake or not, but his, his fucking bank account got leaked online. Oh, was um, that? Oh. He's a double battle name. What's his name? The the one who went to Crystal Palace, the centre midfielder. He went to Crystal Palace on loan. That's a good like, no, 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 no. Uh, He's played for England as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. I can't think of his name. But he's right. only a kid and he had 15 million pounds in the bank. <laughs> yeah. 15 million and like 3 million in his fucking current account. And yeah. he was all. Just to buy his cost as well. Yeah. He was all going like. Fucking hell, you know, we haven't done fuck up. Oh, you haven't done anything. No, you haven't cheap, bro- lost, lost this cheap. Lost this cheap. Lost. And uh, he hadn't even broken the first team. No. And it was £15 million in his bank account. We were just thinking, wow, no wonder the incentive is sometimes not there. That's how we look at like, people like Andy Robinson over Liverpool. You can see why he's done it the proper way, and he? he yeah. fucking like Scotland, yeah. uh, oh. lower leagues, and then Liverpool. So you can see. He probably appreciates it way more than like someone like like that over fifty million quid at fucking nineteen. You know, it's it fucking. It can take the edge off your desire. Like. Oh, easy! Yeah. I can't really fucking blame him. Like, no. you know, Lee, Lee Taylor was. I played with Taylor at Wrexham, and he knew that he was in for a, a move. And I guessed it was Swansea at the time. Right? Yeah. But I remember him when he came back from his uh, ankle break, and he played a couple of games for twenty ones, and we were at Brentford, and Brentford's training how like, it's not. Great, right? Yeah. You know, I don't like the slot because no, no, it's better right. than what we had yeah, yeah. a few years ago. But it wasn't great, and and it his thing was he said, look, he came into the boys. He said, I train my bollocks off every single day to avoid coming back to something like this because I've been here and I'm worse. Yeah, and, yeah. and it was like for me, I yeah. didn't need to say anything. Yeah, I was you know yeah, you yeah. just done it. For, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. Like, you know, and the ones who 
like I said, go back to those ones who were, who were going to make it, probably took on board with them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other ones probably just went, I don't know what's he doing, yeah, you know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, look at the career Taylor had. Yeah, yeah well, like, it, play, like <coughs> the pinnacle in the Euros, scoring, like, yeah. like scoring against Russia was there, or, you know, yeah. them games, you think, fuck, it's you know. It's not just because when, when he left here, he had like a tough time at the end, didn't he? And the fans sort of got on his back a yeah. bit, then they were like, you know, bl- blaming him. For well, they the forgot they did, didn't they? I remember the game against Sunderland. I remember it because who was the boy up front of the who fucking ripped us in the oh, last like the um, Scottish guy yeah Stephen um, Fletcher. Fletcher Fletcher ripped us apart but like um, Taylor got injured that, that day and everyone was fucking devastated because he was one of our best players like yeah. but what happened to him Ben Davis Ben yeah. Davis come in who oh, dare I say it as good if not better yeah, mm. you know, and then it's time, just, yeah. yeah ben, it's, ben was already and people say it, and that added part to do with it but I strongly because that was the first year I came back. Tails was in the Olympic squad, so him, so right. yeah, 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 yeah. So Ben was already playing that right. summer. Yeah, and the first, no one they talk about people make a you know an instant impression. I remember watching one of the early training sessions, and Loud up was always on about playing the second line, and you know not just sort of I play you, I play you know beyond yeah, yeah. And through lines and it. And Ben would open himself up. He still got it now, and he just. Play this ball through, not to the wing, and not to the ten, into the centre forward, and the assistant man said, "Oh Ben, and he's you know Dean said, Ben, Ben, great ball, brilliant." So already was in his mind, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. he was already sort of, and I think they they didn't hold back because I can remember having a conversation with the we went to watch a game, me and the assistant manager, and he was saying, "What do you think of Joe Allen, and what do you think of yeah, and uh, and Sinclair, and you know, for me, I was I, swear, I didn't want them to go without replacements. Yeah, I was yeah. like, no, I know he's this, he's like, ah, oh, you know, well." You know, we'll get someone who'll, who'll give us this and give us that. And so they'd already sort of made a mind up on Joe and Scott, yeah. Scott were going anyway. Mm-hmm. The Guzman came in and Pablo Hernandez came in. So they'd already sort of had that in their mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the one with the Taylor suits, I think the, the break then helped it along. Uh, Just push it Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, well, that's getting a new career, but no one who you talking about loud drop. Do you get, like, if you come in at the same time, you must have a little bit like, like fucking we do with you sometimes. You must lock in all and think. Honest, I you know, like no, and I don't get that. No, like because I, I know, like we saying about going in the pub. That's yeah, my, that's my. Yeah. Oh, we never right. fucking show him. No, no, <laughs> no <laughs> we never yeah. show him. But like, it is a bit of like you know, but, but, but no like, respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're loud up. I and I still have it to this day. Like the, the chairman of the club is the chairman of the club. Like mm. the manager is the manager. So I would never go. Like some people, you remember when he was there, would just would be on the hill all the time. Yeah, think, yeah. Oh, that's respect. That's the chairman. Like, yeah, yeah. Seem yeah. the last point to call it. But the same with the manager. But fuck it. I, I'm not being funny. I've had some a boy from Port Hall, but some of the things you say about done. I like I pinch myself. I think well, yeah. Being on the pitch for Fergie's last game, that thing and fuck. you know and, and yeah, little things I had you can't take away. I wish again I go back. I appreciate it more. Yeah. Napoli away, like when you're coaching in the in the Europa League, like you see my hair's going up because yeah. that experience is like wow, unbelievable. Unbe- and. Do you know the best thing about it all on top of it all was it's with Swansea it's with yeah, 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 yeah. So what, yeah and that like driving through Napoli and I got the buzz you know the, the, and I got videos of it where the police are driving through and there's police everywhere and it, there's nothing better yeah. than I feel when you're zipping through like it's like we talked about Napoli quite a lot that's what we always do you know yeah. and um, like fuck me I'm obsessed with how like the 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 atmosphere in Italian football, we talked about it a lot, like only last week, and um, it just feels a bit more like the football we loved. Yep. You know. Do you know? I think it's more they they because I don't want to p- piss people off, but they feel that connection to the club. Yeah, yeah. You know, it means it's like you know, I Celtic for, for me, but I love Celtic. I'm Catholic. I'm you know I have Irish background. Yeah. It's 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 a fight. Celtic's a fight. It's you know it's against something. Yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. Mm. And Napoli is against you know it's something. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Years, it's, you know, the Especially in Napoli because yeah. they like the they yeah. treated like the poor cousins. Yeah. And, and that's what means so you've got yeah you've got that thing to fight for. Yeah. I think that's what you find with a lot of it, a lot of the mm. clubs. Well, maybe in the Premier League now the finances and that there take that little bit away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was saying about this today as well because like, you know, coming through your career, you know, we're not def- far in age apart but that time when I started like really, really going to Swans regularly and all this, if you ask me, would you take that period from say uh, 2005 to 2009 or would you take 
the sort of Premier League period and you had to, you could had to get rid of one and keep the other. I keep the lower leagues like because I know we when I was a kid I always thought we'd never get there. But then when we got there that was amazing. But look back now when I go, where did I have more fun though? Yeah. Oh, Oldham away was fucking amazing, like do you I, know what I mean? I, and no, I get what you saying. It's just it's... like there was because you're on the terraces with your mates yeah. and like you go to these away games in the Premier League and it's so sanitized yeah. and there's no fun it's just, you're going to say you went. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I've I, 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 I been to Stanford Bridge. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You do that type of thing. I, sometimes um, you'd rather work so, up to Volt Traffic. Yeah, exactly. I like. think I think what you'll what you find is well when those there was always something on it. So you know you're talking about yeah. like, all right, we went up all the way down and then yeah. Yeah, we had the hell thing and then all from that then it's like Last year at the Vetch and first year at the stadium, then we're in the playoffs, we lose, then we get promoted. Then it's like this new Swansea brand, and you know, we're pushing. Mm. And then before you know, we're in the Premier League. So the first year, it's like, wow, well, it's like I feel it's like Swansea, you know, in the Premier League. And then you win a trophy, then you get Europe. Mm. And then all of a sudden, it's like, well, what else can we do? You know? yeah. And then, you know, not, and this isn't the fans thing, other people have got carried away with it, and you're chasing something which isn't there. And it, you know, you, I would have just gathered our club be our club. We've mm. got to say that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, rather than try to be another. And it's a bit like the store. Similarities to the store. Not so much on the playing front, but trying to push for something yeah. which you're not, not going to get. Because, like, like yeah, um, we're gonna get. We, sometimes we, we've got to stand back and realise, like, at the beginning of the season, most clubs can only win three things. Uh, the league, the FA Cup, or the... No, cup, Carnival Cup, whatever it's called, you know what I mean? So like, you can only win three things. The top four have become a thing now, and yeah. because of money and football. If you'd have said in 1986 when like England was dominating Europe and in the 80s and late 70s, if you'd have said you can finish fourth and get in that fucking yeah. cup, it'd be, I'd be fucking mad. Yeah. The only way you win Europe, if you win the FA Cup or if you fucking win the league, like, like all this top four. It's fucking mad when you actually think mm. about it. So for us to win one of those cups mm. out of the three that we can win, like we said, when people say, when people slagging you off on the way, well, what have we won? It's not many people have won anything. You really. no, would still be successful and not win. Because you can only win them three things. The league is gone. So you're never going to win the league apart from the Leicester thing. Like, so it's only the two cup competitions. You've got any chance of winning but it. That's where it goes back to what I'm saying, where... That person on the phone got carried away with where we are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is this is a year old. This yeah. academy, you know, it's a year old, and yeah. our catchment area is small. But mm. it's not about winning the games. Yet. It's about this. But because Swans here the Premier League and in yeah. Europe, it becomes this sort of mm. yeah you know, big thing. But no, and some of the experiences I've had, uh, just I used to I'd laugh like you know, uh, Kurt used to take a person and play my night because I followed him when I was a kid, and he'd say like. Uh, He'd say, right, and Gage would be laughing and this, that, and the other, and he'd go, oh, Man United fancy, and Gage would be like, yeah, fucking hell, I thought I'd never seen someone so upset when they beat Man United. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 For me, it was just, I'd sit back and just listen to people talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I watched him when I was a kid, like, you know, yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and then, uh, when we beat Man uh, United first game of the season, when, when it was our first full season when Gary was in charge, and... Keyshang Young scored. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So we we did there and we got battered the week before in a friendly against Villarreal. So me and me and Gaz were on the uh, pro license together. So that week and the typical of the way it works. So they want to do what like three days. You have to complete these the whole days to get and the work to get your pro license. But it's like build up to the Premier League game. You know, we yeah. can't give you three days of uh, two of us every time mm. to leave. Every yeah. Day. So one of the days it came to us, but. <laughs> We were uh, we gone to the one of the days was the Madrid Seville game the, the Super Cup in mm. Cardiff so we'd been to that and the cars was on the back of the bus and we the chairman of the and they were lucky enough the bus was you know quite quiet so he's answering the phone and I'm like Gaz what the fuck on the back of the bus yeah. you know? so he's you know effing and blind and I'm turning around oh, Gaz you know <laughs> shit, like, give me the old signs keep it down like so uh because then we went into my night and we went to one. So, of course, we go in the bar after Gaz is doing his the press and um, so me and Kirk go in for the bottle with, uh, with Ryan Gates because then Van Al had all his mm. Dutch stuff, staff and that there, isn't it? So he got that big fucking file of facts in, didn't he? So oh, so he's like, so right. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. the back of the, ba- uh, back of the room now, like, right at the far end, three of us talking and 
someone comes in, knocks and goes, oh, look, we're ready to go because we've got to get the airport to fly yeah, back. Yeah. So as we fucking, as I'm walking out, we say, you know, thank you, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. I only booked his file of facts across the floor. <laughs> like, I didn't see it on the floor. Like. Right, yeah, so I'm yeah, pissing yeah. myself laughing yeah. now on his file of facts. Did he do the, the fall? Did <laughs> he do the fall? Like, <laughs> so, uh, so he's gone now. And anyway, you know, we, we, we get there, but I'm staying up. Like, my missus has come up with the kids. And uh, there's a photo, so I had a, uh, took a photo. So my boy's up there celebrating, and my, my miss and my daughter just leaning on the fucking thing. Ball check, yeah. 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 Watch, watch, watch cats in the air, yeah. 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 But no, it was like, you know, little, little, little things like, like that were, it's just that thing. And we were, I remember at the end of that scene, we beat Man United home and, home and away, and beat Arsenal home and away. And after the thing, and Arsenal Stadium's fucking mm. no purpose built, and the rooms yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. massive. And, so we're in there, but all the top, top managers all got one thing. So you see a side of Mourinho on that programme, which is like his day-to-day yeah, side. Yeah. You see him and Wenger and people like that when you beat them. Fucking no. no. There's no you, you, for the pot of wine there. Like. No, you take, no, you know, no, they bad, happen yeah. when they beat you. They, don't, they just win. Yeah, it. Course, you take yeah, anything yeah. off them and they fucking don't even yeah. do the time of day. So when we were in the room after with the thing, the answer staff and the, 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 like the coaches, that they were great. Steve Bowl, the Kurt knew, I think he's just Southampton with him. So again, we, we stand out of the beer and I'll chat in and, and Wenger sort of come in and said, uh, well done, you know, and sat down and we were talking. And he gave it the old, uh, so well, that points, you must be close to Europe. Now how many points have you got? Like, so me and Kurt were looking at each other and we're going like, well, there's six off you. Six off Man United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six off Man United. Yeah, we're not far. Yeah. <laughs> we've got to go. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, the year, uh, I think I went up because I was 21 as coach. I asked Michael, oh, can I come to some of the games? So we went up there. Remember Micho two goals? Yeah. Oh, it was like yeah, early yeah, December. Yeah. And um, it got me thinking this week. Did you see Ireland last week? Yeah, what a so, player. So um, uh, one of Ireland's goals was yeah. fucking, it was a carbon we, copy yeah, of the Arsenal. Was, was, I know. I used it in Norway, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ireland. And, and, and uh, it was fucking exactly the same. Yeah. I've seen the two goals played next to each other. And I've heard before that his hero growing up was me too, he's left foot dead. Have you heard about that? No, I didn't. So um, fucking randomly, like Arlen's a left foot there, and wrong about the time he was getting into football, not like me talking about gigs and yeah. all that. Well, he remembers me too. Right. Because me too's left foot dead, burst on the scene, and he's obsessed with me too, like. And he does the old fucking hand over the years when he. Well, last week then, he scored Sorry, again, man. and he like fucking tagged me too in the goal, like, you know. And it's great. Yeah. Sometimes it's mad that we think but fucking hell. I was our player. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, our yeah. like he's not. But that's where the club come. He won Spanish in the nationals, then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, because we should call him the, the yeah, Spanish. I think he might have got injured. And yeah, get... but he played for Spain while he was at Swansea. You know that for yeah, me is like mental, I mean, yeah. that's unbelievable. Club, yeah. When we look at that squad, uh, so someone put up the the Villarreal squad, you no, know, like the team fought no, in the the blue and the yellow kit. I think it was, mate. It's a. Crazy, well, crazy side. Valencia, Valencia. Yeah. Valencia. Well, if you look at them in there, you had Bony. Yeah, Michel Vaughan, who was yeah. in the Dutch squad yeah. for the World Cup that summer, the 14th. Yeah. Uh, De Guzman. Yeah, was in the Dutch squad, yeah. Bony. Me, yeah, you know, the Michu, yeah, Michu. Yeah. You know, you, you go through those. Internationals are top end. In Unbelievable. Not, yeah. Maybe not playing, because the, the players in those squad are top, top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sterling's yeah. 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 in the squad, yeah. like, you're in, yeah. in, in that 20 players, like, mm. so it's crazy. But going back to that day, so the players went back, went out in London, they had a Christmas too, and again, going back, no, I'll fuck you there. Yeah, yeah. They had yeah. yeah, some ridiculous thousands worth of pounds out to save that to book. So we were coming back now to some of the staff, so as you come out of the Emirates, there's the Emirates store, there's a little, little corner shop, like literally right. like as you drive yeah. in. Our fucking first team bus is pulled over. Come on, we're out to the staff now, we're all walking out creates a corner burger. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. beat Arsenal two one, the players yeah, are fucking yeah. off and all the staff are carrying creates a corner burger. Yeah. And the bus like through the way home. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but that's our club. Yeah, and that's yeah, us. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's right, but that's what we would, you know, that's yeah, our yeah, club. Yeah, that's yeah. what we would yeah. think for. But anyway, honestly. It was great, but like, you know, we'll meet you and people like that, but, but it was, uh, it was special, you know. Yeah, it was yeah. Special. It was special. to be involved in it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. You know no, I know. And just yeah. getting into coaching as well yeah. and start, and you yeah. know, you must be fucking pinching yourself week in, week uh, out. But, as you said, boy from Portal. When I go, when I think back of the, um, like the Napoli, the Napoli days, the, the home game we should have beaten them. 
But when you travel to Napoli, and like you said, no, it doesn't matter. Dolan, I was sure I was sure they were going through. through. I was yeah. sure they were going through. The yeah. problem again with the squad, we had the depth. The depth was, it was there was depth there, but not the, the depth of quality <laughs> at that level. But we we forget we came in, load up left because we were struggling, and we came in to keep them up. Yeah, and, and we did that, like you know, and but we were in a roll of games, yeah. I think we were. Valencia home, either Liverpool away or someone, uh, sorry, Mal- uh, Napoli home, someone on a Sunday, big game, Napoli away, Sunday, and then we went in, in those, I think it was Palace and West Brom, when we got to West Brom, I think we lost it, or it was either West Brom or Palace game we lost, and we were dead on our feet, because we had a right goal at Liverpool, we lost 4-3 at, at, at Anfield, know, and we had, yeah, yeah, and that was after one of the European games, yeah. and it was like, you know, we were dead on our feet, and we had to, so the decision guys had to make at that time was right, okay, we've got this game Saturday. Whether you, whether you look into it a little bit too much and you think, for me, it's like, you know, that's a once in a lifetime or two. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm not those players. It might not be a once in a lifetime. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, it was. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. And then there was rumours like the year after when we finished eighth in the Premier League, there was people around the club saying, oh, we don't want to qualify for Europe. We are... Uh, you know, we haven't got the squad. It's just, oh, fuck the squad. Fuck that. Yeah. I hate them. I know. It's just like, you people overthink it. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I mean, and look, winning a cup's, in, winning a cup's like a, an unbelievable team. Finishing in the league as well, like fifth, you know, yeah. six, seven, whatever yeah. it is. It's just like, fuck. What? Yeah. yeah. I said, don't take that away from me, like, you know, no, no, and, no. and I was annoyed at that. And it was, yeah. it was up in and around the staff and I was like, no, nah, not for me, like, you know. But, uh, not a great time. We we'll talk about the other end of the scale because obviously you were there through the Tony Petty yeah, yeah. sort of saga and then Kuzak leaving and all that. What's that like in a change room then? Well, the Petty one was, um, it was a fucking dip. Was that a bit like the Kevin Cullis thing? Like, you know, we've got someone's taking over this and that. And we played Rochelle, I was suspended, and I got book, bookings. And we were leaving the ground and I had a phone call. Uh, and Pete and uh, Colin Hans and Pete and Nicholas were in charge. And I got, I played under loads and loads of managers, uh, you know, 15 ish managers, and those those two were the ones which I, I you know, I, and I'll tell you why I didn't sort of see eye to eye with them. But we are, I was just when we had a phone call the next, come in the next day, which is strange, we had a day off. A chairman wants to work, I thought nothing of it. Like, so get in the lifts on the way back the next day, we come in, and a bit like you said, the colours when we walk in. And, Everyone's up in a little bit. Coos isn't in the dress room. So Coos isn't there, the manager's not there, the staff and there. And you could see like the figure was a bit quiet. And um we were all fucking about and didn't think anything of it. The goalkeeper coach comes in, Glenn Leather, and then he had this fucking jumper on, which was like like the dots, black and white dots. It looked like one of the old TVs which were yeah, 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 yeah. And someone had fucking had to himself in for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> and he's gone, boys, I've just been sacked and Ronnie's up there now and Ronnie oh, been at the camp for fuck fucking yeah. 20 yeah. years. And he said, Ah, for you lot to get a fucking sack now. And we're like, Whoa, what's the matter? Yeah. What's going on here? So next again, Coos comes in and he stands up and he says, Right, this is what it is. He's trying to get rid of you all, take less contract, this, that, the other, blah, blah. Uh, you go up there, you sit there, you listen to what you say, you say no and walk out. So, oh, for fuck's sake, what's Don't going on? Yeah, no, this yeah. is what, no, was it no, October, September, October time, anyway. So, we, uh, we go up, we call us the ones who went up, I think it was me, Roger, Michael Howard, Jason Smith, Boundy, Coatsy, Damien Lacey. So, it was, you know, it was a fair, it was seven to ten, obviously. And, uh, they come in and they would tell you either, right, you know, we can't afford the contract, so you go in, or, you know, we can't afford the contract, this is what you're going to have to have. So we got, yeah, I do care, whatever. So Roger then had taken the photo, which is in the office of the vets, and put it on his door and then put big fucking crosses through each head. Like, oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we listened to it, whatever, you know, we come out there, went back and the thing, and if it wasn't for Coos, the club wouldn't be, you know. Do and they get, Oh, yeah, without doubt. Really? Fuck, yeah, without doubt. Because Colin Hansen and fucking Pete Nicholas were nowhere to be fucking seen. Yeah. They didn't give a shit. No, not they didn't give a shit. They were up for the fight. Ah, uh, they weren't up for the fight. Yeah. They didn't yeah. really know what to do. Because well, no, Coos looks um, <coughs> quite intelligent. Yeah, and, and he, he, he was high up in a PFA, so he knew exactly what to go out and do. Yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he told us, he got to go, Oh, we fucking we ended up in a bank statement on the piss. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The press yeah. were in there with us as well. Yeah, so yeah. Gav Vincent and that at the time. Yeah, so yeah. We yeah. All sat there having a beer. So, so a couple of boys then decided what they were gonna do and you know didn't go away on the weekend uh, away south end. I went. I fucking typical pick up two bookings. I'd never been sent off in my fucking life. Right, yeah. 
I was sent off three times in about six weeks, six, nine doing weeks. Doing that time? Doing that time. Do you think it's because it's only weird or think, Well, one of them was a, a simple fucking, you know, I think we were, was it three, three, two up against Shrewsbury, I think, and someone edited it and just went like that and put my hand out. And yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fine, the other ones were, were, were really sending off, but there were no two bookings, so you can, you know, yeah, toss, yeah. toss a coin and those things. But around that time, then it was it was difficult for me because we'd sort of had this, and this went on going, and then obviously there was just the blast in the steelworks. So my best mate died. Right, that blast. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was on the, the Thursday, and I had had a, like a, I was back. I wasn't banned this weekend, but I'd had a slight calf. It was tight, and so I wasn't going to play on the weekend anyway. It was the Thursday night, so I went in on the th- you know, the Friday and said, look, you know, this has happened overnight. I said, I've got to uh, go. And I'd asked him, like, f- three weeks before to be my best man in the summer. So anyway, that, that sort of went on. So I had that playing in my head. We were petty trying to suck and sack you and this going. Mm-hmm. And so we played then on the Sunday against QPR, live on TV in the FA Cup. Beat the I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did the Man of Silence before. Well, my mate's funeral was on the Tuesday. So... He had, there was two brothers, a brother-in-law, and then he asked me, and a nephew who asked me to be a bed and So I was like, I went into the scene manager, and after that QPR came, I said, look, you know, I, I'm not going to be here Tuesday. He said, what do you mean? I said, what's the funeral? What time's the funeral? I said, look, man, I made it later. I said, oh, it's just midday. And they were York away. He said, oh, can, can you get that? I said, look, i got to be honest, I don't mean no frame of mind. Yeah, yeah. And he said, oh, okay. Right. And as I walked out, Peter Nicholas turned around and said, Chris, just remember, life goes on. Oh, and that was it. Bad, I think it. That was it. I know, you know, whatever. That was it. So uh, we got through that. Anyway, in, in amongst those things where we weren't getting paid, they were selling Stuart Roberts when they were come. They got the TV game, so he was getting money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ended up having like two days in because uh, we met the PFA in the Vale. Now I know they had a connection there. Peter Nicholas, someone had a connection there, but I'm thinking, why the fuck? We up here. Yeah. We got no money. I'd oh. rather don't spend the money or give it to us. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So so anyway, it sort of went on. Then then Christmas time and we had to uh Roger phoned us on, on Christmas Eve, he'd found out. He said, uh <laughs> a typical Roger phones the house. Chris, yeah, Rog, I right, Rog, yeah. We've got receipts for those Christmas presents. I said, Yeah, why he said we ain't getting fucking paid, better oh, take them back. Fuck fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cheers, like, okay, yeah. Yeah, cheers, it's time to have Christmas Eve. And the manager wasn't going to tell us till after Boxing Day. What a cunt. And it's <laughs> like, you know, you can't, you know, you've got to let these people yeah. know. Like, so and that was the next stage of it. And then the takeover, we were still to play Bristol Rovers. I remember uh, Nathan Elland and he scored, I think he scored yeah, after yeah, four yeah, four he's four decent for yeah. a while, he? But as we reversing in the Bristol Rovers, it comes to, and I was literally signing for my house, I'm in mean, now. The day after, reversing, thinking we're going to get taken over, going to get taken on, it was like, you know, make or break. Reversing, and it's fallen through, it's fucking gone. Uh, and I think it was a London thing, and we were yeah. fucking in, we were like, fuck it up. And again, he was like, don't tell him, don't tell him, but we all knew. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Radio, I knew fucking, I knew when, I knew like sitting in now involved in all, all these fucking crazy fucking times, like, and it's in what I thought being a football would be all about. Like, yeah, yeah. As luck would have it, you saw, this is probably again how you appreciate everything and sometimes you don't play it up as much as you fucking should, but yeah. which winds me up. Because you've seen the fucking lowest of the low, yeah. but the highest of the eye as well. Yeah. You've been there in our most successful times on and off the pitch. It's, it's fucking it's, mad, it's not, But it's, again, it was just, when I wasn't thinking of it at the time, it was just part of, Life, you know, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. thinking of where the next money's coming from. Yeah, 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 more but but I, probably, I, yeah. I knew I was, I wouldn't have had a chance to move on. I, you know, I wasn't because I didn't sing and dance a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I know Boundy had an offer and he ended up going. And he took a bit of stick for it, but it wasn't. Yeah, we, we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, he, he, he had no choice. Yeah, yeah, he had no choice, you know. And people, you know, didn't understand at the time, he, but he had no choice. So people did move on. Um, and then they, obviously they took over, and you know, that was it. But it was. It was a bizarre time, like it was, uh, you know, to be told, and you didn't know where the money was coming from, you know, you didn't, and yeah. it was, and it was just, for houses and that, and yeah, it, well, it's, it's your life, it's your yeah. family, like, you know, and, you know, lucky enough, the, the, they took, took the club over, and I don't know the story, but then they, they took it over, and sort of moved, moved on from there, like, mm-hmm. but, 
to be part of it and, and to be sort of in and around the first team because I after that Wednesday you know that Wednesday you, you could have could have done tools I'm going to do that like because one I needed a play to if I needed a move I could say look I know I can't play yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or two I, you know it's my, you know, my club like, yeah, yeah, know, yeah. I felt I was obligated to play like you know not I wouldn't have not played did you ever get the chance to go anywhere else? I went, and, and uh, again, it was back November 2007, uh, Kenny Jackie, 6 m I can't remember, uh, Kenny Jackie phoned me up. And uh, I, I, was, I was struggling at the time, I weren't, weren't playing well. Um, Do you know when you were playing well? I know no. this, really? Yeah, I, I, I knew I wasn't now, but I yeah. know reasons why now. Yeah. We can go into that after if you want, but I know why now. I understand why. Yeah. So, but back then, uh, you know, I, it was more frustration. And the more frustrated you got, the harder it was to get your form back. Yeah. And I, I was pushing, and they signed the boy Ian Craney, and, and Cheltenham came in for me, and Kenny phoned me up and said, look, it's uh, Cheltenham coming through on loan, the deadline's tomorrow. Um, do you want to go? And I said, well, Ken, I, I know it's, it's my club, but no, I don't really. He says, look, we're signing Craney, you won't be playing as much. Mm. And I said, all right, well, look, I'll go. And this is what I tried to say to all the players, youngsters, because they got this in there, because it's fashionable. My next, I've got to go on loan, I've got to go on loan. Why are you going on loan? So I was going on loan to get back in Swansea's team. Right, yeah. So the minute I said yes and going, my old drive was one month away, I played the games, I've got to get back in Swansea's team. Yeah, yeah. So I went and, you know, I remember Jackie, the secretary, was upset because I was signing to, she always said my fine was like that because I was 90% of the time I was on one year contract, so it'd be another piece of paper in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she was like upset, you know, I know, I'll make sure you come back. I said, look, I'm only going for a month. But I went and I played and they loved, you know, I did really well there. And I, I, and it was one of those things where I think he was glad it happened that way because I, I signed on a Thursday night and I had a game on a Friday, so I drove up on a Friday afternoon, pulled up outside, I know it was at five o'clock, whatever it was, outside the, the thing, walked in and it was... T- they showed me the set pieces and it was a boy K had a joy, he was a centre forward. Oh yeah. So his name is KO. So he showed me the set pieces. I'm going right, so I'm here. He said, No, no, no. I said, What the fuck am I? He's got C O. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm with the K. He said, Oh fuck, well you see now, right? Yeah. So he's like, but I was like, you know, I didn't put it yeah. just in the change room, bang, out play. You know, got the result one, I think it's two one, come back. And I felt it, you know, great and I felt I felt a little bit less pressure yeah, yeah. there because I'm not the boy from around here mm. and I had that bite you know that driving me to go again and um, I did really well I scored and, and they wanted to keep me for another month but it was the week before Christmas and Swansea had a few injuries and you know and so on so what do you want to do I said no I've done my time I want yeah, to go back. Yeah. and I was on the bench and boxing day for the Swans and um, in the summer then Roberto taking over and they offered me a three-year deal, which is much more than what Swansea would have offered me. How yeah. more money? Because of Roberto? Well, I just, I just didn't want to leave. It was my, mm. you know, uh, and I stayed for Swansea. It was probably three years on top of that. We won the league. I didn't play as many games as I should have. But and I could have earned more money going. Yeah. But I didn't want the goal. Would have been happy or probably not. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't want. You know, it no. wasn't sort of thing. And then, in your heart, no, and yeah. then when I went to when I knew then Paulo came in, Roberto left. I knew straight away he didn't want me anywhere near the building. Like and really, yeah, and it was bad the way he did it, and you know he he, he very arrogant with his way. He was like, Ole, Ole, and I was like fucking no, show some respect. Yeah, like, of course. Know, and he's Mount, just easier for fucking yeah, eighteen months yeah. and who they Mount, fucking all in life. Mount said a go on him in one of the meetings, like and, and I pulled him outside and I you know, because he wouldn't let me train, he wouldn't let me on a training pitch and I'm like, no, I don't get that. I've been here you know, would have been about twelve, fourteen years maybe at the time. And I'm like, you know, I deserve it. Let yeah, me step me on a patch of grass to get fit so I can fuck off, like yeah, and, yeah. and I'd say that to him. And he was like, oh, no, no, I don't want you. And, and to be fair, he was trying to come up, oh, no, we'll go and coach the youth. And I said, I'm like, well, no, I'm not ready yet, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a little bit of me being a bit of a, you know, probably if I'd looked at it now and he, he said, look, well, here's an opportunity to go and coach you. Maybe I, I should have, you know, but I was like, nah, fuck this. I know, it's yeah, my yeah. club. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I did a, got managed to get on the grass, not to train with them, but you know, to yeah. do my own fitness. And the fitness guy he brought it brought in was great with me, the Australian bro, old fella. And he, me and him just used to do the training. Yeah. And then Kevin Newton phoned me for Orient and said, Look, do you fancy coming on loan? 
So I went up there. Uh, again, uh, and again, I know I was piss poor up there, but I was brilliant from Monday to Friday. And the Saturday, was, I couldn't... It came to the game and it all fall apart. But I know now it was my mental side. It was my really? Energy, was, yeah. And I know now yeah. that I didn't know him. Because they want that. Uh, not, not, not such a thing. No, it was just. But, it, was, it was never the cross on the line. All I can remember being on the pitch yeah. and it just going. And I can remember doing a Swansea. I remember one of my last games at Swansea. And we, I had this thing in my head when we started to go on about. And I knew because it was like a vicious circle where you couldn't get. I never felt I was, get, could, was getting fit enough or fit as I wanted to be. Then I was playing. Then. That it would spin back around and think, all right, well, I'm not playing well because I'm not fit. I've got to get fitter. So then I'd work more and fucking be too, you know, it'd affect my body, I'd be tired. And then, mm. you know, so it was a vicious circle going around. Where then, if I play in midfield, I was in my, yeah, psychologically, if I give a ball away, then there's fucking four people behind me. Yeah, yeah. In the end, when I was playing centre back, I was like, oh, fuck this. I'd go, totally go. And it, whatever mm. was going around me was just fucking irrelevant. I'd fucking go. And I read the thing with Jazz saying the other day about it. And it, Jazz has said it when he's he was playing now and he'd get to a game and he'd be like, I don't, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Really? And it was, I remember the game down, we played Millwall on a Friday night. And we'd just been to Spain for a couple of days training. And uh, the week, sorry, on the Saturday before, we were short, short and centre backs and the Burton pulled me, had this feel away. So we you want to play centre back? And I remember going, oh, and he was like, Are you alright? Do you want to play? Or I was like, Yeah, fuck, you know, I, I, no, pretending, yeah, I've got to play. Mm, yeah. And I got through that game, but then on the on a Friday, I remember the fucking first, I think we were one nil down in about two minutes, and the boys pinged this cross, and it's fucking unbelievable cross over like the centre back there, yeah, over me, and the boys got in between me and the full back, and he's fucking ended it in. And there's no way I could have got it. Yeah. But that, in my mind, it's it, it was my fault. A bit like, yeah. Yeah. You know, the old fucking stand was live on TV, everyone, it's my fault, everyone's talking about it, it's my fault. And that was me gone. I came off after about sixty minutes, man. Really? Yeah, it's mad. It's mad. mad. Now I, now I see it. I yeah. know it, but you didn't know it then. Mm. And it's a lot more prevalent now. People not talking about it. It, it is. And it's, we talk about it quite a lot. Of yeah, it, yeah, yeah. That side of it now was like, you know, and I've gone back, back then. But the same then, and at, uh, at Lake Orion, because I'd been training before. And uh, no, we talk about youngsters, you know. Yeah. Right? MVP today, you know, these boys, these youngsters were looking up to because I yeah. come from Championship. Of course, company, yeah, yeah. And they were like, and I'm like, oh, what are you on about? Oh, no, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will play or something. But I come on Saturday, I was fucking miles off it. And it, it was just the confidence but no, thing. Well, right? yeah, I think it was just everything. It was just like, just stepping over that that line. And it, it, no, no, I know. When I, when I went to Neath, when I finished, because I went to Wrexham then, and I was okay at Wrexham. I didn't mind that because it was a great club at him and it was it was I enjoyed it there. When I signed for Neath then I in my mind I was like right no no fuckers you're gonna give me any stick because not that it's this money this or that I'm gonna play every single game. And I played every game. So even when Andy the manager was like, God, oh, do you wanna rest? I'm not I'm gonna play. Yeah. And I play. And in the last game, because we got the Euro and playoffs, so they said I said you've played every game. I said, Yeah, well that's what I came here yeah. to do, like, you know. Mm. So again I was worried, more worried about what other people were thinking than what I should yeah, have been doing. Do so do I was like, right, well, if I play every game, no one will say nothing to me. Because mm. it was at the east side, it was really successful, wasn't it? Well, we got into you. Yeah, okay, and then they, that's yeah. fucking yeah. really successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what we had, we should, not maybe not that year, the year after we should have done better, but it went tits up, so. Yeah. But I was in that, it was like a pet all over again. And this time I was in charge. <laughs> we, <laughs> talked to, we talked to Lee yeah. about, yeah, we oh, talked to Lee about yeah. that, yeah. It, it fascinates me what he, what, what, like, what he was just bad mentioning as well, because, one of the things that fucking I always say is when every has a footballer in yeah, who played at a well level, what baffles me is no the so say we get into finals, we play over Mova, we play down St. Helens and it'd be fucking what hundred day, you know, a couple of hundred. It always baffles me the nobody playing in front of twenty thousand people. Yeah. Do whoever like does it come into your mind or do uh, you I just know what, like no I played in when you look back on my when I played for Swansea, you know, obviously the Rotherham game we spoke about, the Hull game, uh, we lost in playoffs, played in the playoff final, played in the yeah, yeah, yeah. final, uh, in the last game of the Vetch, the last cup game of the Vetch, or the first game of the new stadium. So all these like big, big games. Yeah. Not one of them bothered me. Really? No. And the Hull game, 20 minutes ago, that's, before the game I was fine. 20 minutes ago I was fucked. 
and they brought on the wide web and I said this to him and the things that fucking you know, hell he wouldn't stop I knew what he was like but 4-2 you were all right 4-3 and it's like yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah. I was just like call it no, get it fucking done let's finish again yeah. other than that I had no, no issue with it I quite I love those the, the best the best games at the the vets of last season was fucking unbelievable I loved every minute of that mm. the best games at the stadium the new one I found was that first year you all on a Friday. Amazing, Brentford, amazing, amazing, yeah. yeah, yeah those, amazing. Uh, that, yeah. that, I don't think you find it hard to beat that, those games. But the, the, the cup final ones, uh, that last year of the vets, I knew I was, what, Kenny came over the, the April time, or the March time, the year before. And I love Kenny. I, I still, I think he's a great man, and a, and a good person. He was, totally disciplined where Brian Friend was fucking totally one like you know really? the press. yeah it's fucking it was yeah. just, that's why we were top of the league in January we finished 10th I think it was and like, <laughs> it was fucking yeah, yeah. Um, Percy totally one we trained and there was no sort of his disguise we used to call it disguise running it was like shooting it was like right. you know, when I yeah. needed my fucking run now yeah. in my head I had to run I had to run I had to you know it's like going, going to the gym if I went to the gym and lifted weights that's not me I yeah, can't yeah, I, yeah, you know, yeah. I needed to sweat I'd be, yeah. be on a bike to sweat like. so he was um, he, Kenny came in and that year I think he only kept the ones out of contract was only me that stayed and I took a massive pay cut to stay and but it was the last year of the vet, somewhere I really wanted yeah, to And I remember yeah, yeah. working my fucking balls in the off season mm. and being super fit. And um, Kenny came up, we went away. I was, me and Monks were the first one to play. And that's you and Monks came, Sam Ricketts, good signings, Kev Austin. Uh, all good well, players. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Strong yeah. characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which we talk about yeah. a lot, yeah. me and Addy. You know? And we, we went, um, we played the first, me and Monks played 90 minutes the first game, pre season friendly. And we didn't play on the Tuesday. We went to Hereford on a Saturday. Um, and I twisted my ankle. So we were flying on the Sunday to Holland. And we had something ridiculous. Like, uh, it was like five games in, or four games in five days. Or something like, like that, which was like, I can't have yeah. we, On that, we weren't taking a squad of 25. We were taking fucking 18. Yeah, of you know? course, yeah. So in the end, they had to fly a couple of young kids out. But I didn't train that week. And I, the last game we played out there, Kenny pulled and he said, I said, no, it's all right, Gallagher. And he said, look, are you all right? I said, yeah, it's okay. He said, you know, you don't have to play tomorrow because as long as you're fit, you'll be playing next week. And he said, I'm not sure you're either playing on the right back or centre back or centre midfield. I said, well, I prefer to be in the, in the centre. He said, all right, fine, you'll be playing as long as you're fit. Yeah. And that for me was like, fuck, Big that's the class. Yeah, yeah. Oh my it? God, you know. Ask him where you want to play. Yeah, yeah. Well, not. That's one way, way I said to him, I yeah, no, to I be know. in the centre, yeah. like, because he was debating, because the young lad, Stuart, Rob, uh, Stuart Jones, played right back, and actually we lost 1-0, I think, and he, I don't know if he was involved in the goal, but from that moment on, then, I would have fucking run for a brick wall for him, like, mm-hmm. then. and I played that game over there, and I'm like, I was fucking, I was piss poor that one game, and I, I came off half time, my ankle swollen up again. But I knew, I knew I'd be alright for the yeah, week after. Yeah. I knew I was playing, and then he was just like, fine. And it with Ken, he was, he was dry, he was honest, he was fucking pre season was hard that year, it was a yeah. brutal, brutal pre season. But you knew, and I knew exactly where it was to this day. Was corners, free kicks, you know, because yeah. like he was like organization. Yeah, Kenny, I, I know Lee Boy likes my. Uh, the Kenny ones because yeah. Kenny would speak to Kenny and be like yeah he's talking and he'd, he'd just be like his head be like yeah 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 and he'd be looking elsewhere yeah, yeah. and he'd say something yeah yeah no fuck off <laughs> 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 like, even now when you see him like yeah. his head's wandering he's thinking someone else but yeah and me and him it was me Kev Austin and him because we had kids like we'd always go down for breakfast and Kenny would be there and he'd be like that sort of because of the exchange of respect thing yeah oh, yeah oh gaffer oh dude brother yeah. he'd be like this gaffer yeah you know, I'd sit here you know, and we'd have that sort of awkward little conversation yeah. and he'd get up and go like you know but it was it was total respect because you know unless I'm spoken to by him I don't yeah no it was funny like he's always this is the thing but Kenny was brilliant that, that again when we won the league we talked about Boundy and that that era then that, that group that last year the vets was like just mm. just it's kind, it? yeah, that was the best I think the best season on and off the pitch one really? of you know, God, brilliant the last we had you know team. don't you think that's what it's all about yeah well no. all, the, all the successful teams are that yeah, you know, and and even I go back to the year we finished 
eighth in the Premier League our pre-season and how they would go different yeah, yeah. Oh, and it, here's another story about pinching myself we, we'd go to Chicago no, I wouldn't have gone to Chicago if I were in this one. Of course you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. And it was one of the greatest places I've ever been, but I really? wouldn't have gone, gone, you know, gone there with it. And we're flying, you know, the the, the players are in the one with the, the beds and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's all. And we're in first class. I don't even know what it's called, no. like first class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm in your house yeah. there, and I'm thinking, I've got fucking no idea what all these buttons and this shit and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to fucking easy jet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So imagine the psychologist going, well, where do I plug this fucking thing? Yeah. Well, you know, what happens now? So they come in all day, and do you want, like, steak or sea bass? Or yeah. Something? in there whatever you know yeah. 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 Like piece of each like and it was like, out the back and I'm going you know what I mean and I'm like this, you know, but I am I'm thinking I would never have fucking done that no. if I were at Swansea yeah. so but again that pre-season was fucking unbelievable hard work players had a night out on the Saturday we went to the baseball on the Sunday we travelled up then played our first game and from that moment on it was brilliant the following pre-season they fucked it up and we went to Germany compared to what it was before and that's when they started going really? around again. Yeah. so important so important and like I go back to that that group when you when you build that group so we were in uh, Holland again pre-season and we were all uh, we played those games and there was a, like a like a bowling alley in the um, in the sports bar down so you've got all the levels hotel then like in the basement so the last day we were there, Ken said, hey, you can have a couple of drinks, but yeah, you're not yeah. going out, you're in the middle of nowhere, but like, yeah, like so fucking, and the bar bill was ridiculous, by the end of the boy, you're fucking launching pint glasses, and then themselves <laughs> on the goal, and <laughs> so we get out in the morning, we leave in, and like, get the, the, the bar bills, like, astronomical, like, 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 fuck no, we'll pick it up, yeah, but yeah. it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was new, he's like, still trying to work out, where to plug the air force, yeah. into the airport, <laughs> But we flew back and we flew air wheels in the Swansea, even as we've done. Do you think, um, no one was saying like earlier about fucking, how, how many positions did they play? Fucking, I, I played mainly, I played right back for a bit, centre back or centre midfield, but I, Corky was class because Alan Cork, when he came in, uh, was great with the young boys. So with the subs again and with Europeans, man, because you all know him, he'd always try to put one of you on. So everything, right. so like a minute ago. So I'm always remember when I'm I like, that my is, my yeah, fucking yeah. left foot is fucking non-existent, yeah, standing on it. Right. And he put me on left back for like a minute, and you're linking yeah. away. Like so, I always claim I was left yeah. back, centre back, right back. Yeah. We'll see. It's right back. Let's go two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The last, the last minute. Last minute. <laughs> 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 last two one. Yeah. yeah. So I said he fucking did that. <laughs> well, we had him saying he went to the man. I was happy. I had my fucking bonus. Like, do you think sometimes being like a player who can play in so many positions? Sometimes I, I can go against him. Yeah, it can. I, I enjoyed it or at uh, things because not not you get bored. Teddy was the same. Teddy and I yeah, think it's yeah, yeah. to the squad and that's what I remember saying to Hugh Jenkins when we were getting the squad better was like you need someone who can play. Very, you know, every player we had there, we had two players for each position, but they very. Uh, position specific they yeah, weren't yeah, someone yeah. who could play you uh, the closest we had was probably Jordi and Matt who you know played a couple of games yeah. in midfield but throw him out the right back he probably couldn't do it yeah. you know so I, I always looked at it a bit of a challenge and but yeah. for the first few games he was like fuck I love it it's great and then it's like when you've got a little winger coming at me with yeah. the right back yeah, so yeah, fuck yeah. I don't go in the middle again <laughs> like, you know? funny enough I haven't seen the Everton documentary the Howard's Way no, so I am, Sky, yeah. right? fucking brilliant we talked about it quite a few yeah. times and they were saying about um, they asked all the players who the most important player was and you're thinking could it be fucking uh, uh, Bracewell was a great player yeah. Peter Reid fucking uh, Kevin Sheedy fucking and they all said I think it's in no, can't be Brian Harvey cause he's, he fucking he said, <laughs> he me, said but me. I think it's, it's uh, himself Harvey right and it was because they were only had one sub in mm. and he could play all over yeah, the park over. And they said, Dan, by far and away, he's the most important player in the squad. You, you, you worry now about, and certainly in, in football, in, in, like me down in Clamada, no, uh, no, like you said, we're not about th- overthinking it. Yeah. About putting a player in. Back when it was like, right, we haven't got a right go front or play yeah. right yeah. side or play left side. Yeah. You'd have an idea what you have to do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I, don't no, think no. People will be like, I agree. Oh, I, I totally agree. Play. They'll say, um, like, even, a, most of it, even right? a St. Joseph's level, fucking 13. They'll say, I'm a left winger. Yeah. And he's like, no, you are you fucking yeah, 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 you fucking fucking yeah. Have you seen the, um, the Sunderland Till I Die one? Brilliant. Right, the first one. And yeah. 
uh, McGeady, and then I've yes. made one, right. and yeah. he's going, you know, he's starting to go, go, you know, we don't know where, you know, where, where it's, mate, you're a footballer, you're a footballer, you're a footballer. Yeah, just going, going for fucking 15 million, playing the Premier League, and you're trying to tell me you don't know what exactly. to fucking do, Taking a place, yeah. do something, not yeah, fucking yeah, being yeah. the manager, yeah. it's like, fuck me, as if he, he needed to be told yeah, what exactly. to do, like, in 90 minutes, and he was like, you put in this now into this fucking yeah, document. Yeah. You should be fucking embarrassed. Yeah, like. yeah. But again, no, no. We go back to the good players like Leon or someone else. If you wanted to do, if you said to Leon play right back or play thing or you no know, a Vardy, right? Yeah. Or a Joe Allen or that boy Josh, that type of thing. No, he'd do it mm. because he'd work out. Right, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I'd have an idea, a basis mm. of what I need to do. Yeah. Not be fearful of it. Yeah. Look, it is a bit of a challenge to do it, and that's what I used to look at. And you know, if you play centre back, you play right back. If you look at the big clubs over the years, and well, Liverpool have done it slightly yeah, now. Gerard, Gerard yeah. started right back, yeah. right midfield. Yeah. Worked you know, his the way in. The young lad now has played a bit on the right. Man United used to do it all the time. Where yeah. You play right back first, and then you'd be in the centre back with a bit more of a lead. Yeah. So, you know, it's, that's, that's fucked well, up again. It, 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 like Fergie. Fergie fucking earned his reputation of players like Wes Brown, who could play anywhere yeah. across mm-hmm. the back. Gary Neville, John, Shea, John, Shea, John yeah. O'Shea, you know, Phil they do Neville, fucking yeah. nearly bread and butter. They, they can't all be third and under no, no. They can't play but six they, games they need them, they, they Yeah, them. fuck yeah. And that's what you well. notice with those ones. Where, don't get me wrong, they have fucking unbelievable careers. But it, psychologically, the people from the outside will look at Nicky Butt, say, or, or uh, John O'Shea, and he left, say, went to Sunderland. They think, yeah. oh, we signed his world beat there, and he's going to be the best. This yeah. year. He's very he's brilliant at what he does, as a, but he's not going to be like, He's not the MVP like we were talking about. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an important cog you know, yeah. in, yeah. in the system, but not yeah. Yeah, a yeah. superstar in his own yeah. right in a lot of ways. Like, yeah, it's fucking, it's mad that you don't think that when you're a kid and you just get, you play, don't you? And yeah. it, it don't matter, do you? You just yeah. want to fucking play. So if, if they tell you to play fucking up front and you've never scored a goal in your life, you just go, fuck yeah, it, it's yeah. work it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they think, like, I, mean, I mean, realistically, you should, especially you know, like, oh, fuck different levels we talk. But we were playing Saturday, Sunday without fail. When we we mm. trained on a yeah. Wednesday, it'd be up the house at Tuesday. Went, you look, we playing five yeah. five fucking days a week, mind. Well, you know, between like yeah. between sixteen and and say mid twenties, before families and kids come along, we playing football four or five yeah. times a week. So if someone's telling you go up front on a Saturday, you should be yeah, fucking idea, more knowledgeable yeah, yeah. enough. To had enough games of World Cup Willie to yeah, like yeah, know yeah, all the shit back and go yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I find that now it's funny because we were at a pint of trans and a couple of boys. He plays for over forties at Trevelyan. Oh, and, he um, has a game with him. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, I did until I ruptured the Achilles. But, oh fuck! But it was like we were talking about it. You see the kids now because there's no football, football on. They're out and playing, and, and we make the same like down West Avenue, Port Talbot. There's three pitches in. I used to be a lot more with a bit of school on it. But like every goal had a net on and they were all playing like yeah, yeah. really and things yeah, where that was just norm for us. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, was, yeah, like, yeah. You always thought about street, 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 street football. football is, yeah. um, I don't know, like where I used to live, us all I did was play out in the street like and uh, it do like when a ball is just coming off a fucking wall, it improves it improves your touch. touch yeah. And now the fucking street is just full of cars. Yeah, so I don't even think it could be done no more. But like kids don't we go to cars well every Sunday in the summer. And um, two things, I always remember Wimbledon being on the radio and Boris Becker around about the time mm. fucking shagging birds in the fucking Ivy's kitchen and all that. <laughs> and we'd stop at Ashley Road every fucking Sunday just because they had nets. Like, yeah. Because they had nets. And the park, he wouldn't bother yeah. him on a Sunday because as soon as the game's finished yeah. on a Sunday, he'd fuck off. Yeah. So, it was all right, yeah. so like, because they had nets, mate, it was my own fucking Wembley. Yeah. Like, you know, my own man would let me have 10 shots in, 10 shots. Uh, 10 shots in goals, 10 yeah. shots up. No, because you had the nets, mate. You know, you were like, fuck me. You know, there's no FIFA. You no, know, man. there's no, there's no um, 3G. No, no. You played up over, mate. Fucking hell. You'd have more fucking burns inside the <laughs> Western coming off fucking over, well, wouldn't you? You'd have the skin cracks. He was airlifting us to chips, though. <laughs> wouldn't you? After, you have to tackle someone up over. Well, in Mount Pleasant, like, none of the none of the kids fucking like school but we'd go back into the schoolyard when they locked yeah, it because it was football goals football painted goals. on the wall yes. you know yeah. I mean and the yard went like this we'd all, yeah. nobody wanted to play up hill it's like oh, fuck yeah. it, whoever wins the fucking whoever uh, wins the toss you're playing downhill mm-hmm. isn't it? 
But then when we got older then and we could like, go out and ride our bikes 12, 13, whatever, we'd ride from Mount Pleasant to Ashley Road. That's good. Just because of the, the, the goals, the grass pitches and that. You'd play for like six hours, you'd be fucked from there. Yeah. You'd go right home, yeah. get a bomb of cards too, yeah. and go like, ah, oh, couple of bags of crisps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that, like I say, that, that's missing now. I know things are more organised now. Trust me, my two boys play enough football for the fucking yeah. anyway. But it, it's, it's much more organised scenario. It's not like throw the ball out down the street and go fucking kick round. I think maybe times yeah. are different. Yeah. You know, I, I, think, I, are different. I, I wish you I, w- I wish you'd experience it though. I think I think yeah. I know. Yeah. And what I, think, I always say is that to really we fell in love with football and I think them signing or chasing it early, they don't fall in they fall in love with the idea, not they don't fall yeah, in love with the game. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we love the game, we still yeah. love the game now. Mm. People fall out of it now because of the experience they had in the pro academies mm. they fall and this is something that's happened down in command when I was a young lad which uh, he, he had an injurious one he, I think he's my nephew's age so they got released the same sort of time but he had a nasty injury he hasn't kicked the ball so I spoke to his mother and um, I ch- chat with her and I said well look no try and get him down because I don't want him to come in down because he's got all this pressure you know, he's had it from a kid now. Yeah. people are like oh it's so and so he's a swans he's this he's that you know. and all of a sudden that's gone taken from right underneath mm. him but, a 14 or 15 like, and it's a vulnerable age. yeah yeah so I'm saying to him like I just want them at the club then to say right well come in and I'll speak to the coaches and I don't want anybody knowing his background I don't want anybody I just this is so and so he's coming for a kick about with his mates make you feel welcome and then just let him express himself. Yeah. so there's no pressure on the kid mm-hmm. whatsoever not no what coaches are like oh, oh we signed so and so he's got a race for Swansea no he'll take this he'll be that he'll mm-hmm. do this he'll do that no, fuck mm-hmm. no. let him play let him enjoy and I think that's massive for the kids, though, just to get the get back into love and, and to enjoy it, like rather Do you think than think it helps as well what he's been through. Or he spoke earlier, like, yeah, it does so not. You've got to be because again, you're saying at the time when you know what it fucking was, we yeah. know what it is now, but at the time you didn't have yeah, a fucking I'm, clue. I'm seeing yeah. this now with kids that yeah, so you've got to be worried so, that they don't so all that too. A big thing yeah. for me, and what I and I still I, I turn I'm still going through it now in, in space, yeah, right? yeah, but what what I I, it almost felt like I had to, because I'm from the area, I had to put an act on, and that yeah. act could never go away. So it was always on. Yeah. So it was always Chris Lady football, or Chris, you know, this, and life's great, and, you know, playing this and playing that. And, you know, you, you, but that's the same as those kids that were being released. They, 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 they didn't swan you up, yeah. then it's, they're gone. Yeah. And they, they're like, uh, I don't know, I don't know folk, but it, Everybody knows who they are at the young age, mm. and they've got to live up as if they've got to live up to that. Like, and it's just not, it's not fair in a kid. Like, yeah, it's, it could be damaging for on the long term. I thought I come out of them with the academy. What I want them to do is that first thing they do is come back and and forget about all that and just play football and enjoy yeah. it. You know, forget about you. You get coaches at all levels now who think they're the Mourinho's and the Pep Guardiola's, and it's you no know, one going to do this. Let them play. Yeah. You know, let him yeah, and I get uh, no like you said to the start. There's got to be happy medium somewhere. Yeah. Whereas uh, you let them enjoy, but they get the tech, the tactical, the technical mm. sort of thing. When you go back, no like you say, balls bouncing everywhere. We used to play train at Avonlade or in the old Avonlade or the five side courts. I don't yeah, really yeah. remember it. Wooden floor. You know the board is about a meter high, and then the spectators. So it would be like the old green or the yeah, big right, tennis right, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Below yeah. head height, fucking zipping round yeah. there at fourteen years of age. No, that's. Surely that's ta- no, technically better to try and control that, keep it lower than like, one of those yeah. that don't bounce yeah. yeah. You know, it's it you sort of invented yeah. this thing where that was perfectly good. Like, you yeah. know. Yeah, it didn't do No, it didn't like exactly yeah. no, I mean. so it's uh, yeah. but, you know, it's uh, I go back again, the basics haven't changed. Mm. And they they've forgotten about that's the thing. I remember like when Doug Leach went back to Liverpool, uh, for the second time as a manager. And he went, you know, do you think, um, you know, I would think going to manage like it's a different game than what it was 20 years ago. And he went, no, it's not. It's exactly the same fucking game. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you look at it, he said it's just 11 v 11 with a big fucking everyone chasing the ball. Like. Mm. He says it's exactly the same game. Like. And he's deep down, he got it fucking yeah, right, you know. So there's a little mix. You've got to, I think the management side of it now is slightly different. And that's why it intrigues me as well as... You've got, having worked with people like Roberto and Kenny, they're slightly different people, but they ultimately you've got the respect for them. Mm. But if you can get the respect, you know, 
and show them what we try and try to improve. When I went to America, that's one of the things I said is like, I'm only here for three months. I said, oh, you only got 10 odd games. I said, but if I can show you an insight in what I think and if we can make you a better person both on and off the pitch, then for mm. those 10 years, you know, I've done something and yeah. if you remember it 20 years down the line, so yeah. I remember that summer. How oh, oh, does that come about? I had to fucking I just someone messaged me online about going over there. Yeah. But I like I said why well, you know, fuck you but I I only went on a tourist visa, so I didn't get paid for it. You know, I did, I was over there for the thing and it Well for the experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, look, para, I'm desperate I'm, I want to get back in mm. and I'm trying to find a way of getting back in. Is it hard? Oh fucking sorry. Crazy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Crazy. I mean I I I didn't have an interest really at the at the level, you no, know, Welsh League level now, because I'd done it before. But when I spoke to Kamara, they, they were they were good, good chat. I thought, well, why not? Like, yeah. why not? And to be fair to them, they've sort of left me help them with the uh, with the support, and I sort of try and show them. Not saying it's the right way, but it will help them long term, a different way. So my thing is looking at younger players from around here. They had a lot of boys from like the valleys and Merthyr and this and that. At one stage, they were training in Aston Manor. You know, come out and come just because out. that's all yeah. the players, yeah. Like, yeah. So I was like, Well, you know, there was one player had been released from Swansea who was um, mid 20s and he's from Hammerford. I said to him, What about this? Like, I never heard of him. I thought, Well, no, you were at this, you were the stable club in this area. I was just about to say, they're a Welsh League institution, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know for I mean? that thing, yeah. Yeah, you, you're missing out on all these boys being released from Swansea from that area, yeah. You've got to be, you know, on, on the ball, and it's. Yeah. So it's you're you know, there because you you know them you've got the connections yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, not know no. personally, but you can find out about these. Yeah, players. but and everyone knows Chris yeah, O'Leary as well. I, I think I think that's something where around this area, Johnny Gray, people like they know they were right. He's worked at you know at the yeah. club, so people would know them. Yeah. it's about forming that sort of relationship with them, like you know, and I, I just sort of try to show them a different way of going about mm. it rather than the. Being on stuck on that wheel where you know you know what the Welsh leagues are got swing players move around and you know yeah, yeah. they, they play for every club, club yeah. yeah so just be a little bit different and yeah. give them give them somewhere again where I was talking about like the younger players but these these older ones so like eighteen nineteen and then early twenties give them somewhere where they can come back and give them games in senior football and you know try to enjoy themselves and if you if you end up moving back into the game and. Obviously, they do well. You've done well for them, and yeah. the club has supported them. Yeah, you know, mm. simple. But uh, it's great. Like it, you know, how long have you been in there now? Well, it was in November to March, really, when we were in the lockdowns. So yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck crazy yeah. fucking time. It's yeah, but it is. Yeah, you're you're starting back soon, is it? Games, right? Uh, no, no, no. I, it's like it's because I, I just I bumped in that we talked about Lisa. I bumped in a lead about. Uh, all right, yeah. And lead about who's lead about with now. Was he involved in that? I'm not sure. He showed me a, he showed me a, a Welsh League plan and uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. what the, the plan was. It's, Obviously, this is all... That's the window yesterday. Right, right. okay, yeah. I, Jared, I just want to say that, because last Thursday is a lot different yeah, than yeah, the Wednesday today. Look, like. I, I, Wait, I, I, last Wednesday, Boris is telling me go to the bank statement. Last, <laughs> last night, the cat set me with the army. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, chill up. I'm going to go for the next grill. Next thing, I'm in camouflage, <laughs> going up Pat Street. <laughs> yeah, fucking stupid cat. <laughs> Fucking hell. I went, like, I, I've been very critical on social media about the way they've handled it in, in London. And I like, I know I'm quite, I look into all the bits yeah. and pieces. Yeah. It intrigues me. And I, I like the way, the, the way they handle themselves, you not know, being fired questions, yeah. and this, that, and the other. Now, I, I had hopes of it starting. My issue at the minute, and uh, it'll get me in trouble or what, I don't know, but the FA, fucking dumped it on yourself. Yeah, the FAW, you can't be any more fucking no. crazy than we've got. The, FA, <laughs> the FAW, right, are in a position now where they made decisions the back end of last, well, in the summer, which now have an effect, more of an effect now. Like, they finished the league in March, I think early March. We'd lost that week, or the week before, sorry. And that dropped us into the bottom two. So we were above it the week before. Fuck. So we got relegated on points per game. Uh, right. For a week. Unbelievable. Right? So to we, take three days off that, you we, stay up. Yeah, we take a week yeah. off and we, we'd mm, stay up. Yeah, right. So what my issue isn't, right, they've made that decision. My issue as soon as they made it was, 
I always had in the back of my mind, are we not going to have a chance to get right the wrong or get yeah. back up mm. because our league was... So they've pushed and they've got the tier one, which is the Welsh stage, started. So they had three games in. We are nowhere near starting at the minute. Really? So it was a level playing field until the Welsh League kicked the ball. Yeah. Once they kicked the ball, then it becomes unfair what the yeah. decision was. Mm. My thing is, well, what are you going to do? So I get the Welsh, and I'm, I'm back what's going on. I understand it totally. I'm not one of those ones. Oh, I know it's bullshit to say that. Yet. I, I understand it. I look into it. I follow it around the, around the world, basically, because mm. it, you know, thing. Well, it gets me in the, in the just what's going on. But well, it affects yeah, 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 yeah. But my issue is now, right, okay, well, what are you doing about it? Maybe they should have gone, right, well, every, people get promoted, no one gets relegated, and they suck it and go, right, there's 14 teams in the league this year. Mm. And then we, we, I think we spoke about yeah, that being yeah. a... Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's you know, it, it just leaves a bit of bad taste in the minute and where are you going to start? No one knows. And there's yeah. no answers, really. Because you go to the FAW and they govern by the Welsh Government. You can't go to the Welsh Government. So you're relying on the, the FAW and it's... Mm-hmm. You know, I think I sent an email last week and one of the things was 14 <laughs> let's say a 14 league team doesn't sound that bad an idea right now does yeah. it you know, and I've left of course it that, yeah. so. and I will see we'll see but it, I feel for the players and I feel not for the people at the club where I'm, I'm, I'm get frustrated now I wasn't up until last week but then obviously it's been another bit of a kick now where I don't know maybe they'll change their mind and go right well we shut in pubs and they sat there at the ten o'clock. Then maybe it's a top opportunity to go all right. Well, we 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 tighten it up there. Let them go and play games out yeah. outside and where they say and it's uh it's safer. So I'm not holding my breath, but we'll see. At a level like like that level should be able to play behind closed doors. In my I, opinion, look, I, what they're doing with us with local leagues is they're saying they're going to have um just the teams and two coaches like. But yeah, that's that that defeats, yeah. that one that defeats your object of like yeah. local league football, like you know, whereas but, it, you were but uh, even those, a standard. Those now at the minute, we're under those restrictions as well. So if we play, we allow one well, coach, course, one first yeah. leader, right? And I think it's 12 players or you know, maximum 40. Yes. Players, but that's not again, I go back to the decision they made last year, that's not giving us a fair yeah. crack again back up. Mm. And it, it's not a case of. You know, my, my point is, you've made that, maybe you should have given a little bit more thought of the seriousness of what was going on yeah. before making that decision. Because I, I got the feeling that they thought, oh, we'd be starting by October, it'd be fine. Totally agree, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, finish this season. Yeah. And then we just back on. I think everyone, I still probably, I think everyone thought the same, didn't they? Yeah. You know, everyone thought the same in March. Oh, fuck it, if we just down tools for... 12 weeks we'll, we'll be all right now we'll be in Ibiza by September yeah. like, and then I'll do fucking back happy. of the kick-ups now yeah yeah, yeah. 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 to win oh, the race oh, struggle oh, it's not struggled like the, in 30 right. degrees it's, it's not like the sun is it all the, the back any compliment you gave me like, it was all over the fucking place on the first one <laughs> <first, laughs> no fucking bouncing off fences you're going to say can you do it on the wet to the best kind of money by the end, I was doing around the worlds and fucking yeah, all yeah. this bullshit flicking off my shoulder. Yeah. I thought, fuck me, I got quite good at this. By the end, he's like Jamie right Beckham and have McDonald's advert, but he was like, you just can't kind of get now. Yeah. I was on the <laughs> fucking back now, fucking balls were there, like our kids are fucking kicking around, he goes, kicks the ball, he goes, boom, 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 off a shin, and I go, ah, Chris Lee was like, fuck crap. <laughs> Fucking terrible. It didn't it last. It just I had my fucking little peak moment there for, for a couple of months and I was gone again. Fucking hopeless. Oh, but, he's, uh, me and my boy were sat in the garden because I got my boy onto it and I was like, well, how was he doing today? He was like, what takes you on now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What what takes you the photos yeah. dead in his hands and all What's that. The thing is, yeah. I, t- I take everything dead serious. So I was like, oh, fuck it. I was good. like, you know, first it was a novel, and it, and it's not like I, I always take people taking a piss out of me. That's not a fucking problem, but like I'm so determined. Then, like I spent, I must spend like six, seven hours out there one oh, day yeah. and couldn't do it. And do you know, I broke my fucking heart. Like I had to go. I can't do this. Right? I just couldn't do it. Station. And I was fucking honestly got I volleyballs like four doors down. <laughs> I was proper flipping my lid, like, and uh, my kids are just, my miss is just shaking a fucking head, my kids are just laughing at me, it's like, my neighbours were watching. Yeah. You see that then, and again, it goes back to people playing, you know, fucking hell, I was technically, I, I, obviously I'm technically okay, because I've played, but not keeping it all out, yeah. all those things, fuck, I couldn't fucking do it. Yeah. But my yeah. mate was fucking unbelievable at it, you know, people would say that I, you know, 
he was fucking better than you sat there and I'm like, yeah, like whatever you know, whatever yeah. you think, like, you know, but he's a fucking force you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I yeah. couldn't fucking do it. The only person I've seen you know lie doing shit like that is tons and yeah, it's not many like, like yeah, tons, tons, tons of fucking so. game. Tons is a yeah, tons is a street fucking Yeah. Yeah, well we talked about that right fucking out the second time I think Lee was on. We we spent half hour probably talking about street football, but I need to tell us about playing up. Oh, you, could, you couldn't coach her? No, 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 no. Some of that's natural. No, so yeah. so what I'm saying again with the coaching and the can is you go, no, what if turns rolled in? You wouldn't know what would not do it. No, no, in fact, fact a lot of people would uh, would try and coach it out with it. Yeah. You know, no, we want to roll it up and just give it the fall back. Actually, you know. I read Trans Buck. I don't know if I read it. Fucking didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red Gareth Vincent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fucking interesting as fuck talking about when he was at Liverpool and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And like you say, he was just a proper, like, maverick. You know what I mean? Yeah, he wasn't, yeah, like, he didn't yeah. fit into any coaching systems. No, he, he was just yeah. Trans, like, you mm. know what I mean? And that's what I think, even even when you play him, oh, Trans, you fucking. I remember watching the videos when we first, uh, Kenny was one of the first, like, watch the video back, like, and I think it was, uh, was it Roberto's running through on tons and he's, like, he made his 40 yard run and tons is there and he's just giving him the fucking V sign or something to him, like, oh, that's kind of yard, and <laughs> yeah. whatever, like, and we're all pissing ourselves watching Bert, Roberto make a 40 yard run and you fucking see this, he's never going to fucking pass to you. Yeah. <laughs> But he was great. Again, that goes back to that year, the last year at the Vets. That, that sort of group we yeah. had there. Um, Robbo. Yeah. Robbo, yeah. Trans, fucking Tatey, myself, Kev Austin, you know, uh, all those boys, Roberto, Brits. We were all, all characters, uh, all players. Yeah, yeah, Top, yeah, yeah. Big, big character. No, yeah. big, strong character. Tr- you know, you can trust them with anything. Yeah. Don't be scared about position, put them in, you do it. You know, mm. you, you do it all, all along, like, you know. And great on the night that we were, that was brilliant. Yeah, 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 pretty much everyone from that era has said about like, yeah, said, it's a night out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, I mean, the end of that season, we had uh, we played the Benny game, and that was like fucking that was great. That was uh, that atmosphere, the two games away that we talked about, yeah, yeah, Benny. And I remember Sheffield United like, in the cup. Well, I was gonna, I've literally I've got that written down, right? Because I don't see. I don't want to start with you, Caddy. No, but with that, but the Benny game, we we sort of turned up and all all the shit that happened. We went, we came back, and we had to wait for Willie to get released, and, and so we. Got, <laughs> no, it's like, it, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, we we gone up upstairs. You know, six thousand, five six thousand, just Swansea fans. Yeah. Like, you know, we're in League Two. It's fucking unbelievable. You know, the feeling, the buzz you had off it is like nuts. It's, it's mm. no other feeling. So they let us up on a the thing there and Willie said something to the cop, wasn't it? So I was one of the first time and Kenny's there again, to, you know, he's like, yeah, Chris, all right, everything all right? He said, yeah, yeah, so on. I said, Willie's just been arre- arrested. <laughs> you fucking what? He's <laughs> 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 yeah. just been fucking arrested, gaffer. Oh, for fuck's sake. So anyway, we were in there, having a drink and we jump on the bus and uh, Kenny's going, uh, Right, boys, you uh, you know what I'm all about. We got a game Wednesday. Oh, everyone, everyone in, in the unit straight away. Oh, fuck off, yeah. Gaffer. <laughs> I know, yeah. not disrespect. It was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. fuck off. All right, all right, yeah, all right, yeah. All right, I understand, yeah, I understand. He's gone, fuck. But he goes, oh, we've got two options. We can go to the supermarket, get some beers, go and wait for the police station for Willie, or we can go to the supermarket, fuck off, and Willie can get it back. And we're like, Ah, oh, come on, we'll wait, you know, we'll be in this together. Yeah, so good job. We bought, yeah, yeah. we bought it with, and he's either Jack Daniels and Lemmy or Southern Comfort Lemmy, whatever it was, we we bought it for him and left it on the bus. So we all sat outside Barry Police Station, all our tracks, we'd drink your fucking lines. Amazing. Lines. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we just chuffed you've got a tracks. Yeah, chuffed so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it was a bug on you at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're uh, as good as the Lecoq's what you want to never had. But then, so we uh, <laughs> so we on the third thing. We travelled back down, all with his excited and all that. And, I got photos in the house, it was brilliant, like, but no, you buy one of those throwaway cameras yeah, yeah, and yeah, taking yeah. photos. So we had to stop in Strensham because we only had one driver on the bus, like, so we stopped there, blocked on and going in. <laughs> uh, Andy Gurney and Lee Thorpe, they both smoking, right? So they go and they go, Gaffer, do you want a fag? I <laughs> think Kenny's like, now, fuck off, boys. Fuck you, do what's on. Gurney's now, his first that he's got like a bottle of vodka and a Two litre bottle of coke, and he's got like a cup, so he's going. Yeah. Then you see the vodka's coming down, and the coke's going into the vodka, but the oh, enemy's just yeah, got like a yeah, bottle yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's fucking hammered him. So he's 
hammer in a gaffer, and I mean fucking hammer in it. Not in a, like, you know, brutal, but just like, cut. Like gaffer. Like, my agent wants to speak to you. Gaffer, when he was speaking to my agent, I know what Alice says. Yeah. So we're on Bust the... Bust in his balls. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on the thing. Now, we're in so I'm going to the toilet. Gaffer comes in, Chris, yeah, yeah, you know, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, good. He's a fucking out going, he's fucking killing me. He's got, <laughs> he hasn't fucking stopped. So I think nothing won't be walk off. Fucking Gurney's never played again. Like, but no, he, never. No, he, no, I think he came back pre season, but he was gone. Yeah. Eh? But uh, we fucking head back to Swansea. So we get off all the fucking trackies now. Yeah. Um, what's the, the bar by escape? Um, crowbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crowbar, yeah. right. Crowbar, right. Because it was that late. Crowbar, right. What about a crow? No, we'd be fine. We'd be fine. So we get off. Gurney's had gone ahead of us. He tried to get in. So some of the boys in there, Gurney's. No, you're not coming in, mate. So why is that? Well, you can't come in and do it. I said, oh, fuck off. What are we about that? So then you walk back around on the King's Way. We come in on me, turn as well, boy. A couple of others walk around. Where are you going, guys? You want to in? Fuck, come on. Walk around. We walk around the tracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 ready to fight the bouncer. Like, yeah. So yeah. Like, you know, oh, fuck off, guys. Just get yeah. in. So we're in there till again, we stop. Next day, end of Sunday, we booked, uh, we used to book back home at Revolution. So we all meet in the um, pump house. So have a few in a pump house of Queens, go around Revolution, have a big party in Revolution. Some go back to house party and I think there's a reserve game on a Monday, Tatey's fucking playing in this reserve oh, game. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't make it to watch but he's fucking out. Yeah. So we train on the Tuesday and we fucking die, you know, still from the two day bend that we just fucking had. Like. So we train, we got Rex on the last ever game on the Vets on a Wednesday. So we're supposed to be going to Magloof on the Friday, I think it is. So we're like, I look at that. my passports are out, Trans' passports are out. So the morning of the last game of the best, me and Trans are in fucking Newport, Newport getting a passport. I'm like up to say, he's nine o'clock, put him in. We sat in fucking McDonald's, having a McDonald's breakfast and a coffee is pre match for the last ever game of the best. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we come back. Like, this is I, before they did carrot sticks yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we fucking swear. Yeah. We, we get back, we play the game. I can remember playing it. Some of the boys didn't play in it. I don't think Sam Rick has played. I don't think Monk's played. But the ball's bouncing and Mark Jones is a great player from, from Rex. I mean, he went to Rochester and Peterborough. Played for Wales. And he's only small, but I know him's one. And I, I played him when he was at Rex. And the ball's bounced high. I'm going to fucking nail him. And I'm going to get up and the fucking hair couldn't get off the fucking ground. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. How we won it. Half time, Kenny's going, that's right. I know we've been on a fucking piss all weekend. Are you now what's in Lager? What's that, Gaffer? Fucking carbohydrates now. Fucking run. He's going back in on the slip. He's kicking right off. So anyway, we win the game. We're fucking out there. And then we end up in uh, Magaluf on the weekend. And then he's like, Class game. fucking week and a half. Yeah, it was unbelievable. We, I mean, just remember Tatey coming in and he gives it the old like rock, rock sign, like driving his car by the uh, by the vet chair. Yeah. We'd all wait outside the vet to go. Rob had been arrested again the night before. Kenny's on the way. What a club of that. What a club of that. The bloke, the police bloke, has lays on for the club as for me, you know, UPFA. Oh, I'm not fucking man, I'm on a bus for the fuck. Yeah, have a loaf, mate. What the fuck do you want me to do? But uh, Tatey drives in, and nobody car by the houses on the vest. Yeah, fucking yeah. pulls in on the diagonal, like leaves his back end. You know, not as if he's there for an hour. He's there for four Two fucking days. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> fucking, uh, <laughs> tickets yeah. all over when we get back, right? But it's just fucking bonkers. But. Fucking quality. Yeah, yeah, but that that Sheffield United game is one I remember about you. I, well, I don't remember much about the fucking game to be honest. But we played really fucking well. But uh, we had one of the best trips away that I ever had was that Sheffield United game because I don't think Sheffield United they were in the Premier League Premier League and we were in League 1 and uh, they didn't seem to take it as seriously yeah. as we did and we took like fucking felt like 5,000 up there may very well have been fucking 5,000 we had that whole band yeah. playing the goal didn't we? and uh, that performance still sticks to me about how well we played every single yeah. player because when we short then we, we had like a think, yeah, boys we, missing that's when I just come back from Cheltenham so that was like early January time in it I think and uh, I, again, you can remember driving from the hotel and you're coming up the thing and all the buses are parked with the police waiting for bring them mm. in. And like you get a buzz like, yeah, yeah. And just, you know, yeah, just stand mm. up and you're like, fuck, yeah, that. come on boys, we're going to go. Because we ended up, but like you said, we were short, I can't remember who played where, but mm. it was all sort of... It was all, a bit of all so Yeah, outside and we, but the fans, were just like, and it's a proper ground brand, like, it's mm. like a big, but on yeah. top of the pitch one, it's fucking lovely, you know, like yeah. two double deck, you know, fans hang over. Just remember it being a fucking great game, like, and really enjoyed it. Like, yeah, really we, that was like a proper for us. It was like, 
a big day out of the Premier League yeah, club for yeah, us because yeah. we were like League One mm-hmm. at the time and then we took every single ticket we could have fucking yeah. taken whereas Sheffield United they didn't really fill the ground so we yeah. took over the place the atmosphere was all on us it was, and on it it was, was one of those ones you remember yeah. incredible well, I didn't remember much about it I slept for no. the first half in the toilet <laughs> I was fucking sorry yeah. Yeah, I did all action in the same I come out I come out but I think even though even little things like that where we scored the goals at the end with the away yeah. you know the away end as well like yeah. that helped yeah I remember Brits Pound here yeah. and that and the crowd was going fucking mad it was a hell of a day and like say I, I'm amazed. I, like I say, I, I was thinking about that today when I'm when I'm always thinking about people who's coming. I think that's the four of you when I got the badge. I think that's it. That's from that shit. I think, I think it is. Yeah. Because yeah. the other obviously the other one there's the LDD vans that photo. Yeah. With um the one with you and uh, there's a few. It must be the LDD. So Roberto, yeah, yeah Roberto. Me, Roberto. I can't remember what's on it. Is in that one? Because yeah. that obviously that must have been a. I know for us that was a big thing because. Obviously, if we had a big day out, you only got to go 45 minutes yeah. out of the fucking road, you know, and for, for us Swans in Cardiff, yeah. and then to win that, which was like, I didn't go to the Oak Glass in 94, I was only, I was at 14, something like that, but I went to Northampton in 97, obviously we didn't get promoted, so really speaking, there was a large period of time then, we sort of yeah, nothing, happened, nothing, you know yeah. what I mean, we, we didn't, we got promoted, yeah, and then but we got relegated, we got relegated, and that was about it, so that LDV vans, even though, that was what, 2000. Five two thousand six six four five five yeah it was five six five six yeah the first season at the li- his fucking fifteen years it was the first season at the Liberty yeah because Bayo where Bayo was playing yeah. and and, mm-hmm. and that um you know that was a big deal to win yeah, like was, people would balk at that now and go you know, yeah what is that yeah but it, 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 it was it was stress. massive the massive one of the best things I'll be there yeah and that's one of the the probably the only well, it would be the only cup we'd win and yeah that, that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was uh, no it was good it was a good day and could, I remember again like after you, you celebrate and we were on the way home and what have you and, and Tate he got this thing like he's gone up to Kenny and I, I can't remember I think it might have been just been the fact that a couple of boys had been nicked over the last however long yeah. and uh, Tate's gone gaffer he's gone he's gone I'm going to check and Kenny's up and going Teddy check yeah don't get fucking arrested. <laughs> Let me go again. <laughs> the irony of it. They all fucking dead again. It's a bit of a fucking theme running with that fucking but generation. Yeah. Honestly, he's fucking, honestly, he's funny, man. Ken, I remember Kenny walking, he's so dry, like, but funny with it. And he goes, Teddy was fucked in a, he'd been out and brought, and Teddy couldn't, and we all find that why, but he couldn't, like. Mm. I tell you, sat in the Glamorgan upstairs, but the physio was dying, and fucking Kenny's walked past, and he's gone, hey, about. Teddy ain't training, he is fucked. <laughs> 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 he kind gone and sat in the bike for half hour and fucked off home. Like. <laughs> but you know, little things like that where Kenny was great. Not that it was like, uh, he actually fucking kept, made us you know, concentrate more on the football and going out. Because like, mm. he'd got to the point where he came in and he knew, when they brought him in, he knew there was a culture here. You know, yeah. Like Brad May, like people like the trends and were flat out of because what Flynn used to do, he used to live up north. If we were playing away up north, we'd train on a Wednesday, and then we wouldn't see him until Friday night when we got there to train somewhere. So we'd go to the cliff, or we'd go to yeah. uh, Liverpool's Academy, or Leeds Academy, and we'd train them when we get up there. So basically, they'd train on a Wednesday, you wouldn't see him until the thing. Of course, the boys would either go out before we down here on the fucking Wednesday, and get blocked or stay yeah. night, and then nothing on the Thursday. Or they'd fuck off straight away to like Liverpool, and then be on the piss for two days and see you Friday. Like. So he's always going to yeah. catch up with you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but, but he also was Kenny got closer to yeah, as Kenny, a gang. Like. When Con- Kenny came in, he sort of knocked that on the head a little bit. I'm sure Tran said about the story yeah, about yeah, yeah. Uh, when the bloke was trying to rip us off with the fucking. The yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Kenny's going yeah. in. We were trying to argue the fact that like, last week you only charge us fucking. Yeah. Quid, <laughs> yeah. This week he's trying to charge yeah. 40 quid and we're not getting it. But Kenny's going, you shouldn't be fucking. Yeah. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we're arguing like, no, yeah, but yeah, Gaffer, yeah. he's like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. and he, but he's slamming and thinking, but it's his fucking bar. He can charge yeah. me. <laughs> but Gaffer, it's not fair, man, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it was Adam was in the old fair one upstairs of the uh, the little canteen thing like and he was sat there fucking slamming a bottle though and we were like not having none of it like you know you don't try and rip us off like that <laughs> so last time we come in you have yeah, sorry yeah. like <laughs> but great times but now obviously you you done you coach him with the Swans you'd obviously like to do a lot more of that I'm sure of it obviously we would come on for the minute how does the punditry thing come about with Swans TV um I 
the first one I did last year was um, they just give me a call. I, I've done the studio stuff before, which I don't know. It's okay, but it's not that one. It's not good because you don't get to choose a little bit. So I've always been intrigued with the thing because I see things that happening in the game, which I, I try to explain. What I actually, Saturday's one I did was the first one I'd done at home where you're actually watching the game on the monitor. Right. Now I found myself talking about things and then looking at the monitor to all right, well, so you can't see it. So I had to tell you a couple of yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. But then when I'd been doing the other ones, you're in the sta- in our stadium then and you do watch it, you're commentating on what you're watching. Right, yeah, yeah. So, it, you know, you could get that across more. But uh, it's just something I tell you, I've done... The, the club asked me to do bits and pieces and I do it when I can like you know it's so who have they replaced that Shauna David with now then if she's finished I she's... don't know if they have to be honest with you. I, don't, no. I don't know if they're going to be doing that because there's no fans that I, I don't know because yeah. that she used to do the like yeah, the, yeah. The who was it um, oh, I lost the fucking I lost oh, was it Saturday oh it was Kurt and um, oh it was another fella Oh, that's gone straight to my head. They were sitting social distancing. Mm. Like, oh, I know. I spoke to Kurt. And thing. then obviously you and um, Tony O'Connor on the. But he was funny because one of the ones we did, Tony Tony O'Connor was there, uh, and I think it was Win Evans. His name was used to do the Swansea Sound stuff. Mm. So they would remember that he could remember me as an apprentice, and we used to give him a bit of stick like he's. Because it was only those two, yeah. and the evening post right there or something yeah, outside yeah. of that. So we used to have names from and give him a sick, and he was saying it on the commentary, and I was like, nah, I wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Blue Gunner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Blue Gunner, yeah, yeah. Pretty much sums his life up, innit? Blue Gunner, like. Yeah, but it must be good, though, because, like, I, I, like I said, I, I saw on a weekend what it is, like, obviously, Swans fans, like any football fans, they've obviously got an opinion on everything. So even even when it comes to the Swans TV, there's opinions on it. Like so, I love Wyndham Evans, right? I always love Wyndham yeah. Evans, right? As a coach and everything, because he's fucking bonkers. And I listen to Wyndham Evans on Swans TV, and it, I makes tickles the fuck out of me because he's a Swans fan yeah. and he doesn't give a fuck about anything else. He's the most biased. Yeah, it, ever. it's like the old uh, fans comedy. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think it's fucking hilarious, yeah. right? But then there's so many that don't like yeah. it, if you know what I mean. I find it awkward. Not not Wyndham, I find what was said on the thing. I don't... Right. I so, don't know if you said reading it. I think, Because yeah. I like... Maybe we should have got that. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got any... Um, fuck me, Planet Swans. We was, we was on... Someone mentioned us on it. And I was like, oh, Tiny, we'll have a little fucking look. And it was I going well. I knew we were going to go it well. It was going well until some cunt said, I don't like the fat one who talks over everyone. <laughs> I'm at the cunt down at 10 o'clock you. I call it, I'm fucking phone my mate who works at the DBL in IT. I'm going to track this cunt <laughs> down. <laughs> Who's this fucking monkey jack? I'll fucking I find him. him. I told him a long time ago, because obviously at first when you start off, you're small, you don't give a fuck. And then we started getting slightly bigger, and that's to a certain extent anyway. And I would power whatever happens, right? Do not read the comments on anything. If it goes on YouTube, do not read the comments. We were doing the Bulldog show and Paddy was MCN, right? Yeah. And I was just in mix, cage fighting mixed martial arts, yeah. right? And Paddy was just in, and they were streaming it live, right? So there was a there was a there was a break and Paddy was on, but obviously they're still live streaming it, right? Yeah. Proper TV company and everything. So I goes on my Facebook on my phone and I clicks on it. And I'm looking, and I'm just reading the comments of people like grilling him. Going, Who's this fucking <laughs> MC? Where's Ricky Wright? This other fucking. Yeah, where's no one had a striped Ralph Red shirt on. Why is he dressed like a fucking milk man? <laughs> oh, no, you fucking cheeky cunts. <laughs> I, uh, I was like, uh, and I, he came over. I went, pal, whatever you do, don't read the comments on Facebook. Worse you can say, yeah, 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 fucking, where's my it. fucking phone, you can't. You know what I mean? Worse you can say. No. You know what I mean? So you can't take that, like, all right, it's nice to have a compliment, but. You, you, even if you, and I, I, from what I saw, it was fucking, I oh, never saw it, I never saw it, I never saw a negative comment, but there will be a negative yeah, comment yeah, in there, I know, and I, know. I, it's, I, it's, I, um, I know we've had it. Yeah. I know, I, look, it's something which you just have to, it's not nice, you just have to deal with, you know, you know, you yeah. can't please anybody, or, you know, people aren't going to think, and that, that's one of the things which was more, the, the, when you play in this, it's, when I was coaching, when like I brought phone in, that, what I found difficult was, I never, you know, I, I used to see things you're like, how can Chris Valeri tell fucking Gilfy what to do and this that? Bullshit, it's not right like that, is it? It doesn't do that, but yeah. me and Gilfy, and, and me, Gilfy, Fabianski and John Rochelle, we had a fucking unbelievable relationship. Right? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, really. Coaches. So Gilfy's very sort of, um, he, he, he latches on to someone and that's it, and he, he wants his own sort of, 
So when it comes to shooting, it's just guilty. So he doesn't want to be in a line of six people. Right. It's like, this is what I'm saying. So on a Thursday and a Friday, he pulled me and me and Fabianski, another youth keeper, and John Joe, of course. So he'd allow John Joe. Yeah. I don't it's not a lot, but he, he didn't mind just yeah. have a laugh. So we used to work together for 20, 30 minutes. He used to get me in a shit, really, because the, the support sign used to be going nuts because he's doing it's 40 yeah, minutes yeah, and he's yeah. supposed to be rested. And I'd be like, come on, mate, a well, couple more, couple more. Yeah, and we yeah. do the free kicks and say, well, what, what about this? What about that? I'm not telling him what to do. I'm just course, getting yeah, yeah. But, you know, it, it, with the shooting little things, and we we mix it up a little bit. We try and get a shot, but the suit attaching a shot really quick. So how quick can you do it? You know, that type of thing. Yeah. He's scoring goals, and I'm smiling and thinking, yeah, we, you know, we've worked on that stuff. Yeah. Especially when you see it at yeah. once. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah. he would purposely, so even when like someone like James Beatty came in to look at our beach, he was like, oh no, I, I'm just like, but he'd be like, no, I know, I, Chris, come, come, come here, put me in an awkward position, because it, you know, you know. Mm. but it was, it was that. So those are the ones that win, because then when I'm talking, people, oh, he knows he's talking, well, yeah, I, no, I do. Yeah, I've got yeah. an idea. And I, like I said to you, I, I'm convinced, and I never say this about myself and football and all, if I get the opportunity, I go higher coaching than I ever did play. Mm. And, and, man, mm. and I really do fancy that you know, the thing I found hard going from 21s to the first team was your all, your ideas were sort of listened to a little bit but not sort of take not not like you didn't make the decision you know and, mm. and whereas 21s you didn't pick the team or like you yeah, yeah. people you, you were influenced by other people but ultimately you're like this is what we do today so we do this blah 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 when you went in the first team you were told like to do this or that I used to love and we had, it was Monks, Pep, um, Beach was there, Kurt was there as well. I used to, they used to drive from Port Talbot, so drive past all eight houses to get the Fairwood on a Saturday morning to yeah, take yeah. the group which wasn't in the squad, whereas people were living like 200 yards from Fairwood, but they wow. want me to do mm. it. I'd love it because it was my session and mm. I, you know, I'd put mm. it up. But I used to say to him, I'd be fair to him up front, and I'd go, right. Look, boys, there's no point fucking this off. The situation is what it is. Let's get on. We'll have a bit of fun, be hard work, fun, do it, bang, mm. get showered and straight back on the stadium. And I loved it. Yeah. You know, I loved it. And that was, you no, know, we go back to the mental thing. Once, what happened with me, I, and I, I'll say this now, I should never have been sacked from, from the club, what it is. Because, again, we go, it wasn't financial for me. It wasn't. That, and, and the chairman had promised a new deal when we finished eighth, you know, Monk signed one, Pep signed one, Beats came in, and he'd have sort of agreed it with my agent at the time, and not my agent, I, I hate using that, but he no, no, represent no, no. Yeah. you know, he never, he never had to go as a friend, yeah. man. you probably know Glenn, you know, yeah, 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 so, he'd sort of phoned me when I was on holiday, and said, oh look, the chairman's agreed, and I'm like, fucking hell, this, this for me was, because I didn't do big money, mm. this was like, Wow, this is like nice, you know. Yeah, this is, yeah. I deserve, you know, I do. And my family deserves it. So, I thought right, but I left him again. I left right transfer window. I leave him. I leave him. I leave him. So I didn't go in to see him till York. I said anything, and he was in a foul mode here when you catch him anyway. And he's like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, all you coming in here asking for fucking more money or something. The other sign this, and then I said, you know, come in again next year and you'll be out the fucking door. And I said, well, you agree this with Glenn? No, I fucking didn't. I said, all right, right, okay, fair enough. He says, you can have this, what, what he's on. I said, look, you, I don't want it. Yeah. I said, I, I, I don't want to sign it. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I don't want that. I said, because I will be knocking next year, because I'll do more work on him, and I'll do this, and this is mm. what I do for the club. And like I said to you, it's not about the money. So I never signed that contract. And then I got sacked in the, in the December. So I never went up to the money. I just stayed as well, because yeah. it wasn't about that. I was there for, I wanted to be there for long term and, and help every, you know, like I said, you just go back to the, the academy, do this, mm. that, and try and help. And little things like with Joe Roden, I, I've said it a couple of times, and Joe come in tall, skinny boy. And I put in a, like a plan, I looked, I said, I asked them, right, who's, what position, where do you think is good? So basically, you have like second year, or down the 21s, so centre backs, and then like the next centre back you think is going to be easy. He's under fifteen, so we've got like these gaps to fill. Yeah, you know, so we had succession plans. Or who do you think? Yeah. So Joe was always one they were talking about. Well, Joe came in and played the first year. Uh, two two things happened, and we were like, he's a local boy, okay. So I said, right, I joined in the meeting. I wasn't in. This, I joined in the meeting. So well, you know, what's his strength? We well, can do this. Well, so he's not quite strong enough yet. So I said, right, sport the sports science. So if he comes in for. Uh, 
three or four of the weeks we're off. Twice, three times a week. How much you know, muscle can you put? He said, oh, X amount of kilos. So I said to Joe, I said, do you work for him? He said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Fine. And he did it. And then he was up. So yeah. right, for, the, for me, if you've got a list of good things, that's one thing take done out of it. So it's another thing you can't yeah, do. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, at the time then, I remember going down the Oval to watch the 23s in a pre-season friendly and Joe's and he's getting beaten in the air by, um, I said on commentary on Saturday, beaten in the air by uh, the centre forward that signed from Carlisle. And the boy next to him, Steve Kingsley, who's got you know a little bit yeah. more experience. So the, the academy matches turn on and gone, why didn't you just swap them over? So he goes, so what, how was he going to learn? Yeah. You know, yeah, he's going to freaking learn. Yeah. He's got to come up with a solution now of how he's going to win this ball. Yeah. If we just switch him out, he's never going to fucking Yeah, because you no. can't switch him out no. every week. Because no, next week you might have yeah. fucking two yeah. boys that fucking. He's yeah. not going to come across that, and this is the only game yeah. you come across. He's not going to come across in the academy football. Mm. So you can't, you know, yeah. it's just a little thing. But it goes with that. I mean, I I go back to that. That's why I I, I honestly not I honestly thought it was a right for me, and that's wrong. But I know what I could offer, what I did offer, and I personally think, you know, it's, it's not like me saying this, but I personally think I'm being wasted now. Whereas a boy who actually loves the, the club, mm. been for the club, got the pro license, got the opportunity, and, and I'm just sitting there just watching them play. You know. Do you think it's so fucking short sighted. Yeah, yeah, I think. Well, I think you, you know. know I mean? No, I go back to the criticism where what hurt 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 me and still does is like, and it's not a, a thing against the foreign coaches, but people will come in and because he's for no background. Say, yeah. Oh, so, 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 yeah, yeah. We got to get him. Yeah. He's fucking brilliant. Though his background. What? Don't give a fuck about the sports yeah. yeah. with the club. Don't yeah. give a step in stone. Yeah, yeah. step yeah. in stone. Yeah. We don't know. Who could be the next Kurt? Like, who could be yeah, there for fucking 30, it, yeah. about 20, yeah. 30 years? Yeah. Like, and that, that's you know. what I, I don't, yeah. I know, I didn't ever, not say I didn't ever want to go anywhere else, but my, my mindset was the club. Swansea. Yeah, 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 yeah. The club. Swansea. You know, and it, I just think it's a waste, really. Mm. I know, I you know, it's, just, it's all right me saying it, but I think, you know, at some point, hopefully they'll understand it is and it'll be an opportunity. Well, it, it yeah. only got a lot of damn. Fuck everything, like when Ryan said about him coming on and fucking Twitter and iPod and Instagram, all saying fucking the same thing. Like, like hey, everyone who plays himself down, like when we went to France for the Euros, um, whenever the memories comes up, it's always in a fault that it goes up. Like, and we met fucking Dean Saunders yeah. and all that, but Rocky will always say to me, you'll always slam the fault door. Like, you probably had it all fucking day no, with the new boy. Yeah. And, like, everyone's piling on the crystal <laughs> photos and that. Maybe not a Cardiff cunt. But, that, <laughs> you, know, but yeah. uh, you know, and he had time for everyone, didn't he? But everyone, oh, like, you put on Twitter and Instagram, everyone will put, oh, legend of the club, legend of the club. But everyone puts underneath. And what a nice guy with it, like. But it's, you know, something like that for me it was, no, it, it is nice. You know, it's not so good. It, I just got three boys to see yeah, well. I, yeah, I, anyway, yeah, you know. But I, I class people like you share, no, f- mates, like mm, the ones I yeah, know, mm. I, I, no, friends. Mm. First and foremost, it's not like us, we both got something got big in common. Yeah, it's just yeah. ones, I got wins at the time, like, you know. Yeah. So I don't, you know, like, I'm more comfortable like that than in like a pub or yeah, like, then yeah. you know, we talk about the VIP and look at it, you know. Yes. People yeah, used yeah. to say, oh, you know, I'd be in a pub and go, oh, what are you doing in here drinking? Why not? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I thought you'd be over. Why? So I never be, thought you'd be in a VIP yeah, party. Yeah. No, I leave that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good too, yeah. So. But again, I never moved this one. You know, not, not that. I did, uh, I was going to buy a, a flat when they were building them in the media. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I never moved on, not, not because I didn't want to, but I like to come out of it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, though yeah. I only came to Port Talbot, I wasn't in it 24-7. Right. I never, never created that. It was always nice to come in and get the little tap on the yeah. back and, you know, the mm. little art. Yeah. But it was also nice to come out of it. Well, it's home, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It, it was very, it was very lucky. Yeah. They're all this fucking five minutes up the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, no, no. Not, not, uh, and, tram, yeah. In fact, traveling to Kamada was probably yeah. fucking yeah. arse more than yeah. anything. Like, and the, the thing, again, my, my thing for the club and me staying at the club has hampered me. Yeah, now yeah, in course, my career, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. coaching because no one else knows my God, yeah. It's who are it's Swansea City. Like. If, yeah. you, if you're in Birmingham or London, there's yeah. 20 clubs on it. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing here, you know. Mm. Do you but, think that they, they could be a way back in? I, I don't know. It's not for me to make this. So what I would say is now it'll probably be difficult because unless someone 
that knows me got the job and said, look, you know, I want you in there. I, because the people who I know aren't at the club now, mm. you know, they're not there. Of course, now. yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a whole new place, you yeah. know. So I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, not, I never say never. I hope one day that I uh, can be back out. Because I, like I said to you, I've got a lot to offer. And more so, it's come from that happened for, yeah, for yeah. the club more than myself yeah. game, like, you know. Mm. Yeah. Right, so, no, but it's, it is, it is. We're going to, no, we're talking about the MMA. The, um, was in the Brett, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm sat on the uh, beach now in Atlantic City. So I've gone over to the States now and I went to the Jones. Someone put a photo on. I went over to the Jones as well. I'll come over there and do my podcast. So I've got, yeah, I've got next thing in Brett's well. I got filled in there up the road from there. Right, so yeah. So fought there on the, of course on the you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm sat on the beach trying to explain to all Americans what filled in means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. And they're like, oh, you know, and they're, oh, it's like, look, give up in the end. Like, yeah. <laughs> Do you think America could happen? I don't know. I'd be a big, again, it's... That though, be, that be is a massive, face. that's a massive lifestyle change as well because if it's a serious job there, you've got to up sticks with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get, but... Again, that's one thing which I myself have been, and I, I'd say this, I'd go anywhere to work with yeah. football in there because I need that opportunity, and that's what I want, and I, and I crave it, it's, you know, it's what I love. But with that, what I've been lucky with in my career, like I said, we've lived five miles away, so I never had to move away. Yeah. Mm. Whereas some people have gone two Travel years here, two yeah. years yeah. there. Even as a kid. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, and yeah. I think as well, looking from the outside in, you're quite humble as well. That's you aren't going to be like earning the most money or driving the biggest car, you know, it, which is a testament really because of the fucking career you had and you're right, not a fucking asshole, basically. No, and like that's one of the things we go back to what people in the club and what I want, and also like come out of them, but or when I was talking about the, uh, the youth team and that, you don't want assholes. Mm. You want good characters, you want good people. Because you go back to that squad and talk about winners and people, or the people who have succeeded aren't assholes, they're mm. good characters, they yeah, are yeah. humble. You know, they, they're from the good backgrounds. And like the you know, boys are doing it now, mm. you know, Connor Ross, Ben Davis, Joe Allen, people like that. They, they're good people. Mm. You know, and that, that's important, I think. You know, very few assholes make it. Yeah, 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 they do yeah, very yeah. few. Or if they do, it's all pretense and they lose it all and mm. you know, they, they fall out of the game. It's you know it's, it's just part of it. I think it's again that being a pro that you know you said about the start of it mentally and, and the person type of person you are mm. you know is massive in it. Yeah, oh, fuck. We're on that moment because we have done three hours. Right, and because fucking we probably have we went every week to be yeah, fair. Yeah. We could fucking go on forever. Yeah. But nah. Uh, no, oh, fuck. Amazing, Chris. It's been worth the wait, then. It's taken it? fucking three years. You yeah, can't be worth it. Yeah, you can't be worth it. 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 No, Robbo, I, try, I was trying to get him on before Robbo. We'll yeah. Give Robbo a few months now and he'll be the biggest fucking yeah. dealer of all time. No, we do we, we, Listen, we fucking appreciate it fucking. I, I, I love these ones because I can just yeah. listen to you. I don't even need to fucking chip in. I yeah. can just listen to you talk about Robbo. I said, like, uh, Ryan, I, I thought we was up at seven, see, and I didn't finish work till late, and Ryan came in at seven, and I went, fuck, I am really done, and I will see this fucking written, but it's, it's nothing about Christian Levy, yeah, it's all about fucking uh, Elvis, Scott, uh, boys dressed as Elvis on the way to Tempe, which we'll talk about next week, but it was one of them where it was like, fucking hell, who doesn't need no notes of fucking no, Chris Levy, because fucking, he knows everything fucking about him anyway, yeah, yeah. which I is mean, testament to him, like, yeah. for what he's done. And I, I mean, we, like you say, we could go on forever, and we will yeah. do it again. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah. fuck like yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we've uh, done it once, nice, see it in front of the line. Once the uh, football season starts, whenever yeah. the fuck I may be. Because, uh, no, it's still like, Gunnar text me about a story last night, and it's when we were in both team boys, right? and we were out on the piss, yeah, we yeah. went to Danone, on pre-season tour. What the fuck's Danone? It's, North of Glasgow, and you cross over like you are to get on a little Chicago yeah, like, on, a, on a little thing. Like, yeah, and these tracksuits, I should have said anything, but you know, we do it again. Shittiest blue tracksuits, right? All I was left for match winner, right? Yeah. Too small, fucking big zigzags, like light blue, navy blue. So, you know, which ones are black yeah. and fucking white? You know, yeah, Cardiff yeah. colors, blue and white. So, anyway, we had these tracks, we played the three games, and Jimmy's gone, go and load what. Uh, as long as you're on the bus in the morning, so me and Gunnar, that's red rag for ball. <laughs> down the pool, two fucking uh, life, lifeguards there talking to them. And it's like, 
come, right, what are you doing tonight then? And they said, oh, we're going out. Fuck it, we'll come. Yeah, right, it's fine. Meet us back on there. So we only got a taxi. So right. we fuck off out with no taxi. We end up in this fucking tiny little bar in Dunoon. We wake up in this fucking, this house, which is overlooking a pitch, which fuck knows how we get there. Right. Yeah. And to be honest, like, you know, Dunoon, you say, where the fuck is it? There's probably one taxi driver and it's six yeah. in the morning. We have to be on the bus at seven. So fuck. So we get all this taxi done. Don't take us up because, like, our fucking Charlie's here. And Jimmy's is in, Jimmy smokes a gas, so he's out on the balcony all the time smoking, and we gotta get past it. So he drops us off, we're running through the fucking forest now, fucking thing. All the boys are packed up bags, and we burst through the door, and he's like, fucking hell, where do we go? Fucking where do we go? Hot on fucking ass. <laughs> so we like, like, head down, thanks for doing the bags, boy. Jump on the bus, Jimmy walks down for as another cigar on the way down. Paul Morgan, remember Paul? Yeah, yeah. Jumps on the bus, goes the fucking thing, blokes flagging us down. So he's fucking, oh boys, thanks for coming, fucking brilliant. Where's my two mates from last night? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we just look at them, just going to have fucking uh, Oh, for fuck's sake, yeah. <laughs> have you seen the tattoos now? Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh. Fucking Paul. Go and apologise to everyone who Donna asked, uh, been asking Donna who's on this week. She knew it was a big one. Two people said, who have you got this week? Donna went, it's a massive one. Ollie McBurney. Don't <laughs> shout with a fucking clue for fucking fucking. All she knew was a big one. Like, well, she didn't even know in it. Yeah. And I think a mate from work went, no, no, it's not. It's Chris O'Leary. Like, she said, oh, I don't know. She, she don't know <laughs> man. Ollie McBurney said, like, you know what I mean? She didn't even know. She don't know what that pants. Chris, thank you, mate. It's been an Prayer absolute pleasure. Are yeah. we going to do, do it again? again sometime? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Big shout out to the sponsors. Big shout out to Chris O'Leary. Bad, we getting the fuck out here. Yeah. Peace. Happy days. Ambition is critical.